Good evening, and welcome to Nihon Nights, a modern-day vampire masquerade chronicle set in the prefecture of Chiba, Japan. Clan, the Co-3, have already awakened for the night, and we are proceeding from last week. But I will introduce them each. Solomon, of Clan Zamitsi, played by Nitro Taipa. Going well. Marcelina, of Clan Hakata, played by Larissa Ray. Hello. Slip of Clan Nosferatu, played by Vamp Daddy. Yo. Sato Rin, Clan Shmir, played by Softy Knockcock. Hello. Elias, Clan Salubri, played by Nosgavian. Hello. And last, by no means least, Kenon, played by Daybreak Thor. We begin where we left off last week, beginning with combat in the warehouse. You have stumbled upon a Second Inquisition training area. The place is filled with various sets laid out for urban warfare training and the like. Various accounts have already happened, but we're going to start with Slip, Tackle Cuddling, one of the Hellsing. In defense of Sutter. Slip. Strength and Brawl, please. That's definitely going to you. I should really get the scene music going, shouldn't I? Here we go. Slip, you are able to dive upon the man, forcing him to the ground and restraining him from being able to reach any of his weapons or be able to do you or Sato any harm. Who's next? I believe it was one of the Helsing servants, but if you'll let me, I'd like to move. Yeah. Yeah, I want to move deeper into the um, into one of these little kind of set areas um, to get closer to the to them. But I, I do still want some cover if I can manage. I let you do that. However, okay. mm. I know I'm I'm aura decaying right now. So that's right. That's why they've all got. That's why they've all got some health damage. One of them's already dead. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I killed yeah. that one. Uh, but this mm -hmm. one, uh, one mm -hmm. of them is going to take a pop shot at you as you're trying to uh, duck and weave in a professional amazing. manner. Okay, amazing, amazing. So please, Dex, athletics, as this guy is going to try desperately well... to hit you with a shotgun. <laughs> Can I just shoot him? <laughs> you can, but that would mean not moving. But you you are in cover, however. If you want to stay and shoot, you'll be in cover. I think um, if that's the case, I do I do want to stay because I, I don't want to have to fucking dodge right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take a shot at him from my cover. Okay, composure, firearms. Okay, okay. And he can only dodge in this case. Wonderful. All them dice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, well, don't worry, Mr. Fowler. We will be getting to that. Uh, that's two. And it's uh, plus three for a nine millimeter. So five. Marcelina skillfully ducks out from cover, barely needing a second to take aim and fire up a single bullet. Shit. Hitting the man square in the chest through his heart and sending him to the floor dead. As a godlike voice shouts out, Perfect! Next. Um, I guess I'll throw another one of my 
pocket scalpel at one of them. Dex. Athletics. Yeah. Against his Dex Athletics as he tries to dodge. And I just realized that I, I apologize for coming up with this idea and not writing it by you because I don't remember how much damage scalpels do. <laughs> Plus two. Okay, cool. As long as you know. Yeah, I'd count that as a short bladed knife. Um, that's going to go to you as the aggressor. And it'd just be plus two damage. Um, Can do a reroll if you want. Yeah, this is. We need a little more damage out. But yeah, this is a high stakes, so I'm going to reroll. Mm, yeah, yeah. Roll three. So four damage total? Confuse myself. Look, is over there. Yeah. Uh, so that's two. That's two. That's four. And that is more than enough for Solomon to be able to take his scalpel blade and casually stab it in the side of the man's skull, shattering the temple and popping an eyeball out. The man convulses and drops to the floor. Blood seeps out of his corpse, and Solomon begins to wipe his scalpel. Next. Is there anyone left? Three. Didn't I kill... I killed one, Solomon killed one, and... Uh, I think someone else killed one, right? Was it There split? were six in total, three are dead. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay. I was just Is... remembering these saying three. Matt, am I currently stuck on the floor? Unless you want... Unless you want to go Elias. I do have a reason why you have suddenly appeared in a warehouse, having followed a mysterious bird, which was Daisy, of course, that flew away at the start of combat. I managed to catch your attention and bring you to the warehouse. Am I still face first on the floor? You're probably, I mean, you're spending this time getting up. Okay. Uh, so that would be your turn, really. Um, Elias, oh. go on. Do something. <clears throat> um, Elias would, uh, would kind of wander in following this bird. Oh. Oh. Why? Look at everyone here. It's so good to see you all. And he would, um... Are there any, uh, any Inquisition uh, people near near him? Define there. Like within what sort of range are we looking for? As I approach, would I approach towards the party or towards the Inquisition? Like you'll be approaching towards the party. You're, you've got okay. the party closest to you, and then the SI agents further in. Okay. Does um, does any anyone look? Can I tell from visual observation if anyone looks injured? Who's taken damage? Because um, anyone that's taken damage will have wounds upon them. No. Apart from no. No, I don't. No one, yeah. In and that case, it. Elias will just walk up. How's, uh, how's everyone doing? Did Have you been enjoying your time? Are we making some I, new friends? Marcelina's going to turn around, and when she looks at Elias, all Elias sees is her eyes are black, and there's this black ichor coming out of her eyes and mouth, her ears, and, like, coming from her pores, uh, and it's, like, coming out from her uh, <laughs> in, a, in like, a, a circle, kind of pushing outwards uh, and rotting everything in the building. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. If it so makes you feel any better, Marcelina. Mm. As uh, Elias just bounds in. One of the Helsings present do take a pot shot at him, hoping to hit him. It makes me feel like a little better. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Elias, dexterity in athletics to dodge. Okay. Moment, I need to... I thought that that was Elias. Oh my god. 
Athletics and dexterity, right? Dex and athletics, yes, please. Yeah, I, I, don't think, I, I don't think it's worth trying to re-roll it unless you're trying to mitigate some damage, but yeah. So that is um, seven superficial damage after four. Okay. As Elias casually walks in, having greeted his coterie, either ignorant or not caring of the battle that is unfolding before him, takes several shotgun pellets to the chest, significantly wounding him. God, this is so rude. Jesus Christ, Elias, and she's gonna grab him and pull him uh, to where her and Solomon are so that he's at least under some sort of cover <laughs> for, for now. Kinnon, no doubt, wherever you are in the building, with yeah, your I landed head on a guy. Am I like this? Yeah, no, yeah. basically. I landed on a guy. Is is he dead? Uh and if the answer is no, can I change that? If you do a strength and brawl for me, absolutely. And he'll do a strength and brawl back. Crime for them being grappled. It's not gonna go well for him. Told you. <laughs> Right? Uh, do you want to stick with the messy crit, Kenon? Sure. Or... Why I not? I thought you would. I thought you would. I thought you would. Kenon wrestles, wrestles with the second Inquisition agent underneath his body and easily overpowers him. He looks him straight in the eye and just figures, why not? The slits in his mouth open revealing the gaping maw that he has for a head, and he simply clamps down sharply, swiftly, upon the Inquisition agent's head, destroying it and turning it into putty as he feasts upon flesh and vitae. <laughs> Kinon, you may slake five hunger all the way down to zero. The Helsing is dead, but you are going to take two humanity stains. Okie doke. Which brings me back round to Tweedledum and Tweedledee, the two remaining Helsings, as I'm going to start the court. Uh, one of them is already grappled by Slip, so he doesn't even get a fucking go. And the other one took a shot at Elias, so he doesn't get a fucking go. Which brings us back around to Slip, who you have. Oh no, actually, that is the one thing that that guy can do, is try and get out of a fucking grapple with Slip for a strength and brawl contest with Slip. Ah, uh, sure. Hits. Woo! I'll reroll that. Go! Oh. The man struggles under Slip's iron grasp. Unfortunately for him, he is easily overpowered. But Slip is still able to restrain him. Slip, what would you like to do with your victim? He is yours to do with as you so please. I believe prowess is still on. Uh, so I'm just going to pull his arms off. What's your strength rating? Uh, three with prowess two. Lethal body. Yep, that's going to be absolutely enough to just easily tear the arms from the sockets, ripping the out, ripping them out. As the man screams in horror for about a second, and looks at you, and exhales his last breath, falling backwards to the floor. leaving Slip holding two bodiless arms and with two watches. You have cleared the room. Opposite 
across from you is the remaining door that leads further into the structure. You can see through the grated window there are lockers there. What would you like to do? I'd like to turn off Aura of Decay. <laughs> if I may. Yeah, absolutely fine. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, really grossly, the, the icker sort of just uh, like goes back into her body. <laughs> um, back in through her face. Um, and yeah, and that's how she, she turns it off. <laughs> I, I, I would imagine that as the icor is sort of Coming back. What the word, you know, T one thousanding back yeah, yeah. into you. Yeah. It it kind of for this moment as it goes over your body is just this black shadow until it disappears and you are yeah. back to remaining still obviously undead, but back mm-hmm. to normal for Marcelina. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um it probably it probably all swirls around and coalesces into your eyes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think in sort of the hollows of her eyes is still really dark um, until eventually that'll fade and she'll be back to her normal self. Um, to which she is gonna pat Elias on the chest where his gunshot wounds are a little bit hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little harder than they probably should. You know what I'm Uh, no, no. Oh, my hunger, too. My hunger, that, too. That face, though, <laughs> of uncertainty. I had to check. I was like, wait. <laughs> no, they, the Coterie kindly fed me before we left for this mission, so I was not hungry. <laughs> um, I think uh, I think Marcelino will, will go, and she'll peek over all around the side and look at Slip. And... and if she could, like, telepathically say to him, just friends, huh? Just a friend. And that's, like, on her face, you know what I mean? She's like, mm-hmm, okay, just a friend. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, is Sato still, like, on his ass? Uh, no, I spent my turn getting up, and he's just, <laughs> he's just standing there, kind of, like, rubbing his nose. Like, god damn it. <laughs> like if he wanna... could blush he would be blushing from embarrassment right now he's just gonna offer you one of the arms I <sighs> I not not right now I just I just need to walk away Oh, all right. So, um, that was half a dozen. That's about a fourth of what I was told to expect. Well, maybe yeah. we just picked the right time. Maybe. Okay, you doing all right? How is there anything left of what Kenyon has consumed? <laughs> Clothes. Ew. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, she just... Kenny, are you all right? Mm-hmm. Sort of straightens up, straightens his clothes, wipes his face region. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Quite. I'm rather going to myself there. <laughs> I got you. Hold on. I'll just provide Kenyon with a wet nap. <laughs> he accepts and sort of dabs at his face. Oh my god. Amazing. Very polite. I, I think, um... Nope, Marcelina won't say that. Uh, oh. Was she going to turn around? Nope. She's going to go to her locker? <laughs> She's gonna go to the locker, so that's what she's gonna do. <laughs> Anyone Elias with us? Alas is with us. He found us. Yes, oh, thanks to a, a friendly and help, helpful crow. Oh, that was Daisy. I wondered where she went off to. Oh my god, are you alright? Oh. You seem to have taken a shotgun pellet. 
I've, uh, I've certainly seen better days. Um, mm. uh, I think I'm going to rouse the blood to heal. Okay, do a rouse check for me, please. Gain a hunger, which you may heal two superficial. Don't forget, you should keep two superficial anyway, for your mark. Mm. And as you will, your super vampiric vitae around your body, the wounds will slowly start to heal themselves and close up, but they don't quite fully finish. Mm. Well, I'd say we've already made quite a bit of noise. I feel like we should make our way to what we were coming here get in the first place and make like a hasty retreat. Agreed. Um, I was already headed towards the, the locker room area. Correct. Is, excuse me, are we... Um, is it locked? I mean, I imagine it's not. Uh, is, is anyone else going with Marceline's the locker room? Uh, Sato is. He just, like, I just need to keep going. I'm ignoring the fact I just split it from the <laughs> ceiling. Right, right. <laughs> um, Door yeah, is so easily... The door Sorry, is pushed open into the locker room, tramped space with two long benches in the middle of the floor, surrounded by almost human-sized lockers. The open archway shows a wide corridor that ends in large double doors, a sign on which says, Command Staff. Uh... Weird. <laughs> Very weird. Um... Yeah, I think, um... I think Marcelina looks at Sato and um, gives a little smile and says, uh, you doing all right? Like, forces a sigh out of himself. It hurt, I... didn't it? Trust me, it was my pride more than my face. Mm -hmm. Well... I wouldn't worry about it. Well, so well I don't. I mean, I don't think he's gonna think any less of you. You saw the way he tear that man up. All for you. How cute. Uh, uh, uh. uh. <clears throat> what? Nothing. Oh, is it, is it a secret? I don't. No, it's not. Do that. Do we need to talk about it now? How about not now? How can we just focus on dealing with the Inquisition as it stands? Absolutely, you are. You are completely right. Yes. <laughs> uh, Marcelina will then go and, and start searching for the things that that uh, they were sent here to get. <laughs> Everyone heading to the command room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. The large room is dominated by a grand desk complete with several computer monitors and large stacks of papers in the golden globe before it. The coterie are not distracted from the village of the armor-clad soldiers before them, who are already making use of their training and experience, bringing their weapons to bear on the intruders. And they're going to take go first. Um, I, th oh, I feel really bad about it, but I think Slip is probably the most monstrous looking one. So he's going to oh have to take the shot as an Inquisitor clad in black armor brings a Ben and Jerry Ellie to bear. I was quite proud of that one. Uh, yeah. Dex, uh, you can dodge, if you so wish. That's pretty much it, really. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the best thing I could do. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's good. Good, good, good. Oh. Uh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, cool. I've, I've got the slippery perk. I'm, I'm covered in jam. He'll never get me. Never mind, he's gonna get me. <laughs> it gets worse. Okay. 
on a second. It He'll gets get way me. worse. Oh, no, he's gonna get me. I'm not gonna lie, I feel real bad that I need um, that. That's like a shadow joke now. <laughs> is there any way I can throw myself in front of that? Nope. I'm gonna re-roll three of those. Uh, do you have, if you have... Wait, wait. Uh, Spasso. Oh, damn, what's the, um... Rapid reflexes? Yes, mm. if you have rapid reflexes, I would let you. Did Damn it. R- I don't. RJ buy me a you reroll? You do have a reroll. It's available. Use it. Right. Can I use it, please? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you got a secret. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. It's your secret. I'm going to reroll the one, the one and the three. With willpower. Okay. Go and crit fishing. Got the crit. Uh, so that's I, four, five, I six. do have rapid <clears throat> reflexes. <clears throat> yeah. And I use it to shoot at the person who is shooting or who is going after a slip. Yes, but we would have to resolve that after this shot. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Uh, so that is six successes to slip versus seven. Unfortunately, not enough. However, has mitigated a lot of damage. Which is uh, good, which is really good. Good. Five. Three! Oh god, let me double check. This could be really bad, Slip. Do we just lose Slip? Okay. Do we just lose Slip? Alright, this is gonna get. I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna get a bit chaotic now. Slip. Oh, this is not bad. Uh, ch- ch- five, three. <laughs> Superficial damage. As hot, flaming shells leave the shotgun's barrel, an impact in Slip's body. A moment later, he is on fire. It's oh fucking my God. incendiary. Oh my God. Okay, no, it's I. It's fine. Um. Everyone. Oh shit. Oh, Let me check for me, please. <laughs> Difficulty three. Oh, what check again? This is a terror Friends. frenzy check. If you I fail don't... this, you're running the fuck away and leaving Slip to die. Mm, no. <laughs> is, is there a, wait? Is there a set difficulty? Three. Three, three. Okay, sorry. Uh, you, can, you don't. By the way, if you want, you can ride the wave. Where you don't have to roll, you just give in to the frenzy, but you re- you you will retain control of your character. But you've still got to do what the frenzy oh. says. But if oh. you but if you do so, the frenzy check and fail, I'm in control of your character and what happens to it. Okay. I didn't know uh, I could just roll with it. Can I it, not yeah, have yeah, rolled? It, yeah, that's that's why I'm saying it now. If anyone wants to Real write the roll instead. with it. Yeah, real quick, if we do roll with it, how far do we have to get away? <coughs> what is the what is the and piece stipulation well, in my on, brain? Yeah. So that's free. Uh, tap frenzy. I also you failed, get, so I s- you I'll be following you. <laughs> just got to try and get as far away from Slip as you can, who is going to be trying to get away from the guy who just set him on fire, so we'll probably be following you. Okay. My first, ah. my first mental image there was Kanoon just looping up. Previously, he was just chilling on the ceiling. There's nothing to stop him from just jumping up there again. Yeah, oh, Kanun, I mean, you, might- you don't have to frenzy check, by the way. <clears throat> okay, cool. So who, my- who's riding the wave? I'm going to ride right. the wave, but I need to I need to ask a question. Yeah. Since I am in control, I have to run away from Slit, not the dude who fired. Correct. That means I can run towards the dude who fired. Not really. No, I can't. Because you've so got to run what? past the thing that you've got to run away from. Mm. Well, I thought that... Well, did we all come in at the same time, or did me and uh, Marcelina come in first? I think you me all went in. And... Me, and Marcel- or me and Marcelina. I'm Marcelina. <laughs> me and Scott <laughs> came first. But regardless, I have a problem with... Hang on, uh, hang on, hang on. Either way, <laughs> Slip is going to be nearer to you than the Inquisitor Delta, and you're not really getting away. If you're going towards the Delta, you're 
trapping yourself further in, and you're terrified, and you need to get away. Okay. Not, yeah. Um, well, I see what you're doing. Um, but you, do you still want, want to ride the wave? I'll still ride the wave because at least then I can choose where I'm running. Like, yeah. Okay, Solomon, back. do you want to ride the wave? Yeah, I'm going to do the same. All right. Anyone else? Roll twenty won't let me set the difficulty. I put three, and it just has a one there, and it won't change. So. Well, there's it pops up with modifiers, and then it pops up with the. Right, and I'm I'm on the difficulty to change it to three, and it won't let me for some reason. I like refresh the roll twenty page, so I don't know what's going on with roll twenty. That's weird. But it won't let Worked me. for me, this. which is weird. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, I don't... you don't have to roll it if you're on the ride the wave. So, are you going to ride the wave? I want to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to run. <laughs> Uh, second question, real quick, Shiv. How many Inquisitors were there? Um, there are three agents standing in front of me. Okay, right cool. Here. Got it. It's see, it's 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 rolling. It just doesn't let me roll it at the the number it needs to be rolled at. Do you know what I mean? Either way, we'll be able to work it out. And uh, yeah, but that's mm. definitely a frenzy. Well, I would. I <laughs> yes, it is. Um, it is a frenzy. Oh God, is this gonna be? Are you basic? Oh my God! No, I, there's something I would like to do, but I, I don't know if I could do it. But I, I, I would like to do something. I would like to do you something. Come. Ah. Your character is <laughs> mine now. In fact, you should try to wave. My wave. Everyone uh, well, is under my control except Sato and Solomon and Elias, who is the only one not frenzying <laughs> and is just going to be left. In the office, with three particularly difficult SI agents, mm. as all of you, terrified by the sight of slip on fire, run. You run back into the main warehouse, grouping together and taking shelter behind pieces of the set. And Excellent. then you realize that Sato, Solomon, and Elias are not witty. Sato okay. and Solomon, what are you two doing in your frenzy? If if the the people that are are frenzying ran away and back into the warehouse, oh, uh, behind, you are frenzying. Don't make well, any mistake. You right, are frenzying. The ones that You're are just consciously, away. yeah, the ones that yeah, are, yeah, yeah. Uh, went back into the warehouse that we were just in and kind of started to take cover. That was my plan mm -hmm. to to do anyway. Um, so I would have followed them. Okay. Sato? Um. I. Is my uh, walk on the ceiling power still working? Because it says it was for a scene. Has the scene changed? No, it's the same scene, so yeah, it should still work. Then I'm gonna say the minute, like, I assume we're running out of the room because they're in the room, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna go up the wall to the ceiling the minute I'm outside that door. I'm literally gonna run up the wall. There's no problem. Leaving Elias in the office on his own. But in I don't control. I don't think Elias is going to be keen on trying to fight all three of these uh, individuals. So I think, and Elias, you know, he likes to help his friend. So I believe Elias would chase after Slip and they maybe take off his uh, his sweater and try to like pat the fire out on Slip. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, cause I, cause it's, it, cause, yeah, because otherwise it's going to get really difficult. So I'm going to say that Slip is slower than the rest of you, <laughs> and that you've all made it to the warehouses, leaving ba basically Burning Man behind you. Apart from Elias, who's just there going, It's okay. It's okay. It's been our secret. He what? has a sweater. He's trying to, like, suffocate the flame. Um, <laughs> that actually is a roll, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to make that composure and dexterity. 
And how many okay. dots? How many dots do you have in stop, drop, and roll? <laughs> um. Oh, slip isn't. Yes. I, well, so I Zero dots terrible. of survival. <laughs> Same. Would you like to stick with it? Or would you like to reroll? Um. Oh, I, I have two. I can reroll. I'll reroll. Come on, Elias. Save the day. Or night. Oh, oh Would you like success at costs? Yeah, I'll take success at costs. Okay, what could fucking cost be? I burn myself. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, I was yeah, thinking either damage or that, yeah. That's how fire tends to work. Yeah, I'm a lot Well if Day says it, it must be fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> if you're qu well, no. This is not time for arson and classes. <laughs> Elias takes one of his sweaters off and uses it to muffle the fire. A slip falls to the ground. I know what the cost is going to be. Elias, desperate to help his friend, but unfortunately very good at it, but does eventually douse the flames, depriving him of oxygen. However, he takes far too long. Slip takes one aggravated damage and burn. And Elias, you will also take one aggravated damage and burn. But the fire is out. The danger is eliminated. You are no longer in friends. As the beast inside of you begin to subside, feeling of a supernatural terror eating away at you begins to ebb. But you are all left with your thoughts. I suggest you be quick before the three agents chase you down. Where am I at the moment? You were in <laughs> control of yourself. I would imagine that you either went with Slip or the rest of the coterie, unless you want to stand there and face the other three agents on your own, which is, knowing you, valid. Yeah, no, it's not smart, but Kenun has exactly one setting, and that setting is go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm -hmm. So, um, if nothing else, they might be a little bit distracted trying to chase after Kokotori. Kenun has one setting, and that setting is go. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question, ST. Yes? For my ritual, how long does it take to get going? What level is it? Three. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> um. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm going to use this free moment of clarity. I I don't know which way we're going, either back in or running away. But hang on, hang on. Sorry. I like the idea of we haven't quite finished yet. Because Ken Un is still in the room as far as I know. You're right. And hasn't done anything. You're right. Ken Un, what would you like to do? Because I quite like the idea that you have this conversation as there's just this calamity going on behind you. <laughs> So, Kenan, what calamity would you like to create? <laughs> um, well, he's got the one setting, so I think he's gonna go. He's yeah, gonna, yeah. you know, classic Kenun, launch himself at the nearest threat and try to make it no longer a threat. I support it. I just had like a 90s sitcom intro. Classic Kenun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Strength Brawl versus this guy's speed. Strength Brawl with a minus one mod. Sorry, uh, Sato. Oh, he was just adding oh. to my joke. I appreciated it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's like Rocky versus oh. Hulk Hogan oh. in a boxing oh. match, isn't it? Oh. I think you've had it pretty easy, Ken, and so I'm going to do a willpower reroll. Okay. You've gotten to eat at least three guys. Yeah, no, yeah. honestly. <laughs> yeah. I do not begrudge you. That goes to you, Ken, as the aggressor. And you leap forward with supernatural ability, springing your legs forward, pouncing upon the armor clad, the black armor clad man with his face obscured, and successfully bring him to the floor, 
putting your entire weight on top of him, restraining him. Meanwhile, as that's going on, what's the rest of the country having a natter about? Uh, um, let's go with the, the three, four of you, and we'll come back to um, Elias and uh, Crispy Boy after. Um, Solomon. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my Selena. Are we? Is this go time or is this leave time? No, this is go time. This is we. As soon as you say go time, storyteller, I'm gonna begin transforming into my horrid form. I'll <laughs> check out, please. Selena's like a little kid in a candy store. She's like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like super excited. <laughs> Finally, um, Sato actually gets to see it. Yeah. yeah. Solomon's very figure begins to rumble and surge. Ve blood vessels burst and engorge. Muscles become thicker and flesh becomes bulkier. Slowly his feet begin to turn webbed and feathers form upon his body. That's not his accurate. His arms turn to That's... wings and his nose <laughs> That's not then accurate. a large <laughs> yellow beak. He slaps his wings and he quack, honks quack. to the night. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, um, uh, very similar to the last time he transformed, he, he takes on a very, um, very mishmash chimera, uh, mixture of different animal parts, like, um, compound bug eyes, large beetle-like horn, uh, armored faceplate, a mixture of thick hide and, and tightness, uh, armor, the forearms and the long tail, and then, um, the one difference this time, though, is all along uh, his forearms are bony like spurs that stick out almost like hair follicles. Um, and uh, and yeah, that that's about it. I'll, I'll let you fit, see where that goes. Yes, uh, Marcelino's fucking hype as shit. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is turn Aura of Decay back on, um, which I believe is a rouse check. Definitely. Um, I gained a hunger. Um, I might still eat Elias. Anyway, we're we're gonna, <laughs> we're, um, we're gonna it's in hope. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go towards the bodies of of the uh, the Inquisition we already killed, um, and I am going to begin my ritual. Um, for flavor, it looks as if all of that aura of decay that comes out of her uh, is being fed into these dead bodies. She's going to assemble a shambling horde. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh god, all these things. Right, uh, one at a time, but... Shambling Horde, you say? Yes. Yes. Shambling Horde. <laughs> there might be um, m more to it than what I had there in the... There is. But the, the intention is to send a bunch of rage zombies back at these inquisitors for setting my coterie mate on fire I mm. Mm? I think we're going to have to skip it there's a <gasps> house rule if you don't have the details in your character sheet, I can't do anything with it and it spends too much time looking it up in the game. Because that's what I'm doing right now, because it's not in the sheet and it should be in the sheet. And there's this rule of, if it ain't in the sheet, you're kind oh. of fucked. I mean... No excuses. Okay. Cool. Unless well, you can give me the page it's on on cults right now. I unfortunately cannot. If that's the case, that's fine. I'll turn Aura to Kayana and I'll just go back into the room. 
I could probably grab it here in a few seconds. No, don't worry about it. It's okay. Two twelve. We'll move on. We'll move Same on. Of the no. decay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll just go back into the in the room. I do know that Aura Decay is a is a rouse check, which I, I failed, so I get hungrier. And I did it the last time. Um. So regardless, if you want, I didn't know that that was a house rule, but regardless, uh, I, if anything, I'll go back in the room and I'll just I'll shoot. I can't give you oh. a Aura Decay either. I'm afraid, unless it's That's okay. yes, you've got. Oh yeah, I don't know what the defense roll is. Holy okay. shit. That's why I'm saying don't even fucking worry about it. I'll go into the room and I'll just start shooting. It's in the okay. chat, Shiv. It's okay. <laughs> you don't even have to worry about it. I'll just I'll just start shooting because that's I'm good at that. There we are. So it's gonna take fifteen minutes. Right. And oh shit. Yeah. You've also got to do a hunger frenzy. Yes. Difficulty two. Yep. If it doesn't let me do the difficulty, should I well, just like? We'll, we'll know what it is if you just roll the frenzy. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Okay, okay. Because for whatever reason, roll twenty is just not being my friend. Frenzy restrained. We don't lose our shit. Unfortunately, you do. <laughs> I do. So it's difficulty two, and that's one success. So. Oh, I understand. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. 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 Well, cool. I lost my shit. What happens? <laughs> Well, because I lost my ship, but I'm also like trying to raise dead right now. So, what what occurs? <laughs> I mean, I, th I think they come back, and then you mm. do this dance number for a bit. Oh, cool! That's great. Right. <laughs> Break out the harmonica. Amazing! We do a performance. <laughs> What's your oblivion rating? It is three. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to raise three. Yeah. Of the dead um, bodies yeah. back to a form of existence yeah. on this plane. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yeah. however, for you, as they begin shuffling off, already understanding your will and moving towards your targets, you feel the beast once more crawling around inside of you. Mm. You need to feed. I do. You need <laughs> to feel warm. Vitae down your gullet, the kind of Vitae that only a certain taste mm. will satisfy. Mm. Okay. And unfortunately, uh, it's only Solomon in horrid forms nearby. Is it? Oh, that's true. I guess uh, Sato will be up on the ceiling. So. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'm taking a chomp out of fucking Solomon. <laughs> so, Marcelina, you will be going for a Solomon in his horrid duck form. Delicious. He's a dino. Let's not call him a duck. I don't, I don't yeah, even know he, what he to qualify dino. him anymore. He's so, <laughs> such he a, a massive, massive monstrous, horrible creature of flesh that he has willed through a various stages of animal evolution to look like something mm -hmm. ferocious and intimidating and disgusting <laughs> thank you shiv that's exactly my brand yeah yeah <laughs> probably get a job as a dental nurse now <laughs> amazing so marcelina yeah you haven't actually done a role yet and I'm no. in control of you again. Good, yeah. good. And you're yeah. going to shoot Solomon in his fucking leg because you can't it. get away and you can leap upon him and feast. Composure yeah. and resolve versus um, horrid monstrous forms, dexterity and athletics, please. Oh man, that's a good thing that that's what I <laughs> pump when I go into horrid form. Oh, composure and resolve is what you said? Yes, yes please. Okay, okay. Resolve. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shit. I'm I'm gonna God say damn. that this is so off like he, this is so off guard for him not expecting it. I don't feel like I should re-roll. Okay. Well that's I going mean, to go to Marcelina as the aggressor. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I don't think you will want to reroll to maximize damage. No, no. <laughs> plus, plus, you want to save for willpower anyway, I suspect, anyway. Yes, yes, I do. So Marcelina quickly <laughs> fires off around, impulsively, not really making use of her natural training. The beast is in control. Her hunger is in control. This isn't the usual controlled and focused Marcelina. You'll probably see that as well, Solomon, right before the bullet embeds itself deep into your kneecap. Mm. Doing <laughs> one superficial damage. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the this monstrous form just turns to look at you, and without verbally saying it, and I can't even really express it through the eyes because bug eyes aren't very expressive. Um, no. <laughs> but you just see the posture kind of shift just a little bit to go. Really now. <laughs> If she could say back through her eyes, I'm sorry, she probably would, but like, I'm not in control of myself right now, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it shows Beast, you know, looking back at I you. I mean, same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two beasts just looking at each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, <laughs> Elias and a piece of bacon. A what are you doing? <clears throat> Bacon, are you are you alright? Uh, slip, slip, are you, are you alright? You, you cooked a little bit. Oh. Well, I was like shaking him. I, he's just gonna slowly crawl to his feet and mend that one ag. Can't. Can't. And I get the stats for game. Oh, really? Oh, uh, Hill of Men 2 of that superficial then. Browse check for me, please. Uh, there we go. Lovely. No, those wounds will begin to start slowly healing themselves up, but you look like shit. You still look burned. This was. The TID test run. Yeah. Where's everyone else? <clears throat> I'm I'm so sorry you got burned. I look at my hands, I kinda burned a little bit too. Um I'm I'm not quite sure when you uh caught on fire, everyone just kind of ran away. I of course chased after you because I would never abandon my friend. So I, I'm glad we you weren't uh, completely burned up. Uh, we can we can try to find them together, and Elias would would help him up. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Out. And um, while we're looking for the others, I would like to use my session use of suppress the hunger. Of course. Elias with his whole chest just was like, I've never abandoned my friends, you piece of shit. <laughs> and you've got the sounds of a struggle coming from the room you were just in where Slip was set on fire, and you hear a gunshot coming from the warehouse where you know the others have run off. To. Where would you like to go? Towards the warehouse. Follow the sound. And you'll run into the warehouse, catching sight of Sato still on the ceiling. Marcelina standing her ground and aiming a pistol at the horrid form. Solomon. Good. His bug eyes just all over the place, mostly ignoring the aggressive posture in front of him. Which I like to do. Now this is happening. Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh, Elias, look! And I'll, I'll, I'll point over at them and then like step behind him and then try to uh, disappear. Pass without a trace. Or, uh, uh, unseen passage. Unseen, yeah. yeah. Rouse check for me, please. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that's made that mistake. 
I've done way too much D&D. <laughs> Increase your hunger by one as you huh? will the Vitae. Not around your body, but merely into just the right places. That you don't become invisible, but you are unperceivable. <clears throat> no one wants to look at you. More so than normal. I know how that feels. Especially now. Uh, uh, Slip's going to start heading back towards the office because he doesn't see everybody. Okay. Yeah, Elias will look in the direction Slip pointed, and then he would start heading towards that direction to try to catch up and help everyone else. Okay. So we'll stick with Slip as he is going back to the office and catching sight of Kenon and the two remaining agents. Kenon, what are you doing at this juncture? Um, the guy that I tackled, is he, like, down, or is he just, like... He is grappled. Okay, is that's what I was asking. Basically as you so wish. You um, want to burn him, don't you? So again? You want to burn him, don't you? Oh, well, always. No, um... <laughs> No, Kenun's goal is to just make sure the guy doesn't get back up so we can deal with the other two. He wants to neutralize the threat as soon as possible. We're going to just punch him in the face? Yeah, that works. Strength, bro. Difficulty, one. Kenun! Completely unbothered by the fact that the man's face is armored behind a mask, clenches his fist and begins beating him with excruciating pain and agony inflicted upon the man as the mask begins to break away, exposing pieces of his face. And you see the wretched, scared man underneath your grasp. The look of fear in his eyes is unmistakable. Slip, what would you like to do? There's still two more agents that are not engaged. I'm going to try to sh shadow grapple whichever one is to the rear, like like the last turkey in the row. Okay. Uh, that is going to be deck stealth. Okay, I am going to... Awareness. I'm going to blood search this. Okay. And that's plus two for your gen, I believe. Yes, sir. Yeah, your blood potency, not your gen. Okay. Uh, so I'll reroll those fives. I got willpower to burn. I don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to. I don't need to. And at the very last second, as you begin to creep up upon this man your hulking form, powered by prowess, unfortunately gives you away at the very last second. Spins round. Strength brawl versus his strength brawl. Yep. Can I blood surge this as well, or is it one per turn? Yeah. No, you can absolutely blood surge. All right, fuck, I'm, I'm just pumping. Like... Raise your hunger. Yep. Well then, you know what you're going to do, don't you, Slip? <clears throat> hey, bud, you ever been dead? Any particular way you want him to die? Snap the neck. Uh, he's just going to really earn those stains I'm about to get. Just, just loot him like a candy bag at Halloween. Run this man's pockets for every organ he's got. Slip, using his undead vitae to power himself and his muscles, thrusts his hand straight through the man's stomach and begins ripping up 
tearing through organs and bone alike, until he finally rips out the man's heart, the remaining entrails, and shoves the body to the ground. What's your hunger, Slip? Three. Three. And just as the man is still barely alive, Slip proceeds once more to humiliate him. His four jagged fangs eke out of his mouth, and he pounces upon the man, sinking his teeth straight into one of his eyeballs, and drains him of his vitae. You may slake five hunger, but you are going to take... That's a heck of a mess critical, so you're going to take three <laughs> humanity stains for that. Sure, sure, sure. But the man is dead. Elias, Marcelina, Sato. Horrid boy. What's going on with you guys? Uh, can, have I gotten out of my frenzy that I'm in? No? Okay. You need to feed on somebody to make it out of your frenzy. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. would like to react. Um, yes. Having been shot, I'm going to get far away from Marcelina. But also, I need to take care of these Inquisitors. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want me to roll for it, but we're, we're in the area with all the wood, like, scaff not scaffolding, but you know what I mean. Sorry, um, when you said we're in that area with all the wood, I was going to say, the woods. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, where all the sets are. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. Would, I would like to try and jump up onto one of the walls to get a better look at where the Inquisitors are at. So just to get line of sight on them. Oh, you don't need to jump up on the wall for that. Can I do it anyway? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I just I just want to jump up on the wall and perch there as some giant monstrous bird. Um, and uh, I'm going to use two of my free hands that I'm not using to balance on the wall uh and i'm just going to swing them really fast and the little bony spurs uh that are sticking out of my arm are going to fly out like little flechettes uh and essentially that's just flavoring i'm just throwing them i like my scalpels um at the inquisitor no is this thing with a wall i know that's why i'm on top of it mm-hmm I can get line no, of sight. No, no one ever said that, you know, they haven't got a ceiling. They, you know. Well, I know that I'm, I'm looking at the picture. I'm you, thinking, you're in the warehouse oh. area, the warehouse area. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And then off to the side, great big cool wall and stuff is the rest of the thing. But there's no line of fire. Well, that's what I'm saying is I'm trying to get line of sight on them before I do this. You can get line of sight because there's a window. That's what's established, oh, okay. but... How big yeah. is the window? It's a wide, long uh, window with the grates in it. I oh, okay. There's grates in it. Okay, so I probably couldn't burst through the window. Um, well, in hard form, I think you probably could. I would like to burst through the window, please. <laughs> I got a good idea for this. Do it for me. <laughs> this could be terrible. Strength and athletics. That's so cool. I'm I'm real angry from being shot at by a teammate. I'm gonna rouse the blood. <laughs> uh, <coughs> two dice. I hope that's enough. Going to increase your margin at all, or would that stick with it? Um, I'll increase my margin. I don't know what that's going to do for me, but it sounds good. So, uh, I can. Oh uh, well, no, because I can only reroll one die. I don't want to roll the one. Potential crit, you do. 
Well, when you think not just like... not a messy crit, a full crit. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah. But you were able to successfully charge, despite the initial awkwardness at first with the bullet lodged in your kneecap, you form a rhythm as your webbed feet slap on the concrete floor and you smash your entire body through the glass. Stand up and in a gurgling, almost one syllable word, a sentence say, I heard you've been talking shit, fam. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I'm just going to swing the arms in kind of like an X formation to throw the uh, little bony spurs at them. Well, I will let you get ready for that. Okay. As you're doing like the X-Force. <laughs> I wasn't thinking like that, but yeah, that works. Sato, Elias, Marcelino, Slip. That leaves you three together. Is there anything you'd like to do? Or... Um, not... Sorry, I'm, I may or may not be eating dinner. <clears throat> so I would like to... Uh, uh, I got all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Can I come back... Oh, God, my brain. So, so I'm not stupid. It was the big open warehouse area. There's the office. Was was the locker room in between those two? Yeah, you've got. All right, so so if I move to the side, and then that leads on into the command room. However, you have now got a direct way in since the window has been smashed to the command room. That is that is true. And uh, we, I, I think you'll catch sight as well of Kenon, uh, Raslin. And very successfully beating the shit out of one of them, uh, you'll see Slip completely destroy one of them and uh, seemingly enjoy it a little bit too much, leaving one fairly innocuous looking man just standing there a bit awkward, unarmed. Um. Can I? I would like to jump down through the window mm -hmm. and basically run towards the unarmed dude with one of my needles. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I don't even care if I miss something, I'm just gonna try to inject this man with as much as I fucking can in this needle. I don't know if that's in order or if that requires a grapple. I don't think it necessarily requires a grapple. I'll let you do it for... Dex and Brawl, I think, seems like a nice mix for that one. Okay. And... Can I... Let's be try and dodge. Can I, uh, Blood Surge? Yeah, absolutely. If you do a rouse check for me, please. Gain a hunger. And then it was... Brawl and Dex. Yep. There's nothing you can re-roll. But I can. So I'm going to re-roll two. Three. I hope. Not enough. That's absolutely fine for you to come running forward. And skillfully, as if you've done this before, gently stab the man in just the right area, be able to inject him with a mix of your own special reserve. Probably enough to be able to put the man unconscious as he falls to the floor. Um... I will say, because I'm pretty sure that's all I can do, but I'm going to go down with him in Excuse preparation me? that, yeah, I'm going to literally, as I, since I hit him with the needle, as he goes down, I'm going to go down on top of him. Do not take that out of context. <laughs> Mostly because whenever it comes my turn again, I'm going to drink every ounce of blood out of this man. 
Probably a good way to follow up when you go down on him, yeah. <laughs> Ken Owen, uh, you've still got the Delta under your control, and there's fuck all he can do about it. How would you like to finish him off? Cleanly. Let's just make sure this guy isn't get getting back up. Can't let him live. He's seen too much. Can we just, like, snap his neck nice and easy? Yeah, I'll let you do that for free. Cool, cool. And you just quickly snap his neck. And his corpse gives one last shocking judder before remaining motionless. Sato, you wish to drain the man you've just gone down on? Yes, Steve. Was that an inaccurate statement? No, it's not inaccurate. I just... <clears throat> I'm freezing. Yes. I'm going to eat this man. There's no other way to... I, it's done. I'm accepting this. Excellent. Excellent. You're going to swallow every drop, aren't you? I'm not a quitter. <laughs> you may slake five hunger as you drain the man of his precious life-giving liquid. Feeling it trickle down your throat and revitalize you, and as well as giving you that pleasant laced high. You may say five hunger. And the room is yours to do with as you so please. What would you all like? I'm, I'm gonna like... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just kind of gonna say, um, kind of like Kenun to just sort of go over to slip and, like, lay a hand on his shoulder. Peace, friend. He is dead. Uh, oh. Right. Hey, do you want to eat this, or... Just kind of give him the heart. <laughs> um... Can anyone just sort of... accept it? With a nod. It's still, you know, alive enough. Thanks, Slip. Thank the remains of the man. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in horrid form for as long as I need to, but essentially, I burst into the room, everything was kind of already being taken care of, but I kind of wound up for the throw. And seeing that there's no target to throw at, I still swing my arms, and it leaves a line of the bony spurs in the wall. Um, and, uh, let out a very disgruntled, uh, growl, and then let the group do what they wish. Uh, uh, hey, Solomon. Ugh. So, did you leave... A wounded Elias with a hangry Marcelina. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. buddy. And then I turn and oh, go back buddy. to the hole I made. <laughs> Marcelina and Elias. <clears throat> well, you're still under my control, aren't you, Marcelina? I am. I oh, am. Yeah. Your character is still under my control. I can handle that saying that one. Your character uh -huh. is still under my control. Yeah. And you're going to go charging forth at the delicious, intoxicating smell of Elias's own vitae. I am. Um... Absolutely irresistible. Like an mm -hmm. ambrosia. Like one that yeah. you could never taste anywhere else. Yeah. Strength and brawl. Elias. How would you like to respond? You can just try and simply resist with strength brawl, or perhaps you might get creative. Um. Sad dog. <laughs> I think. I think I, I will try to. I know she's going to get bonuses to resist this, but I think I'll blood surge and then try to use Mesmer. You can't yes. use. I don't. Can you? Can you? Does it work? Or is it? Yeah. Like, but you have a you, better. You have a good defense against. So you get bonus. You're gonna have bonus dice, so that's why I'm right. getting the blood surge. 
Okay, I understand. So, Rouse check Elias for blood surge and it plus two. Show me mesmerize. What? Uh, by the way, Elias, as Marcelina is a woman and you're a man, and if you dare try and use Mesmerize and just say calm down, that's going to cause a fury frenzy for Marcelina regardless. <clears throat> Gain a hunger either way. Yep. Uh, oh, wait, and then I will uh, roll... My manipulation oh. dominate versus intelligent resolve. Intelligence Last resolve. Scene, intelligence resolve with a plus two bonus. Oh, sorry. Three bonus dice, Marcelina. It's doing that thing again where it won't let me input the modifier. I don't, like, I don't know what's going on, but if anything, I'll roll it, and then if you want, I can just roll the three extra d10. Yeah. I'm gonna have to it's, reload. Uh, yeah, I... I did the same thing to me a minute ago. Yeah, I don't know what is... So that looks yeah. like, uh, five success. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, Elias. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're actually... Yeah, we're oh quite happy God. with that for Elias. We're happy with that. So what's the uh, command? <laughs> oh, please Calm don't. <laughs> please um, don't fight me. <laughs> Elias will look at Marcelina. Sit down and behave. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to oh. really oh. go so well. It didn't mm -hmm. help end the statements under a council review. No. And Elias, as you say this statement, willing your vampiric power behind it, mm. catch sight of your own reflection. You look at what you are doing, and you start to feel remorse. Is it remorse? Is it perhaps your own power feeding back in on you? Either way, you just want to sit there with Marcelina and behave. Sweet. Does that quell my frenzy at all? <laughs> I don't like. I don't know. I, I don't think you're allowed to quell frenzies with dominate. Okay. So I'm still frenzied. I'm just like physically unable to. You you just have to just sit there and behave. <laughs> You're still in frenzy. You just you are hungry, and you are mm. sitting at the meal table, waiting I... for the meal. Where is it? <laughs> so I guess, and, and you're just like sitting there, and Alliance is sitting down with you. And we're just mm. behaving together. <laughs> yeah, you're not sitting down at the meal table. You're sitting down with. <laughs> The meal table. The meal. Yeah, so so I think um Marcelina, you know, she she sits. I think she sits like cross legged. Um and I think she s stares at Elias. Um and perhaps I don't know if you'll allow me to do this, uh ST. But while her body is still as she was, you know, told to do, her eyes are Blackfire. She is like, I'm going to do like you just put yourself on the list. Um and it's a promise, like in her eyes, a promise of I'm going to erase you. Um Yeah. And Elias is just the definition of blissful ignorance. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, uh with Slip and the rest of the poetry in the remains of the office. Snip, so, would you like to try and hack this computer to get the other half of the encryption key? Which was the objective all this time, just in case you needed a reminder. Yeah, he's gonna start doing that. He's gonna trust that the... 
fucking the huge dinosaur can handle. He has no clue that it's handled. He's just trusting the dinosaurs got this, and he's gonna sit down at the computer. He, he he's definitely like a little crusty right now with the with the fire. So he's like really rubbing that dude's blood into like you know his ashy elbows, and then uh, you know takes out a wet nap. He cleans his hands real good, just fills like. The, the the waste bin under the desk with these bloody wet naps and then he goes in on it. And you, you'll sit there and take off the screensaver and the first thing you'll see is that the firewall page is open. Pit of irony. Do for me intelligence and technology, please. Just enough for you to be able to extract the information you need as you navigate your way through the filing system, finding <clears throat> things that you're sure would be of absolute, utter importance and value. Sadly, however, files are far too large and also have some strange encryption on them, and you need to get out as soon as possible as daylight is approaching. You simply find the key you're after, copy it to your own thumb drive. Would you like to? Um. <clears throat> Rest took us an hour and a half to resolve last week. Yeah. Uh. With everything he's got, he's going to try to not copy anything additional, but uh, he's just literally purging as much as possible. Like, he's trying to burn down everything they've got. Absolutely. Delete names, locations, anything. No problem. You uh, expertly know how to sabotage this entire system and navigate to C, Windows, System and delete system 32. I know Perfect. that your work is done. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Then you install Windows ME just for shits and giggles to really piss them off. Windows 11. Fair. Because they've got an AMD CPU. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Walking back to the warehouse to reunite with the rest of the coterie. Yeah, I went back first. What do I come across? You will see a two very well-behaved kindred sat in silence, one staring daggers at the other who is just sat there with a small smile on his face, just so happy to be involved. Humming so, happily. Yeah, if I may, um, when the others join up, it's the two sitting quietly and the giant horde form walking around them in a circle. Uh, at first, no, you, just looking at clever girl. Yeah, at first you you almost look at it as like a predatory like pace around them, but he's just trying to see what's going on. And waiting for the people that can speak to come and figure out what to do next with these two creep, creepy statues that are staring daggers at each other. And it doesn't take long until you start to smell bacon and the rest of the coterie appear. Oh, what the fuck are you people doing? Uh, Marcelina, uh, Elias, Soon, are you guys. Soon as you call Marcelina, her eyes shift to you, and I think Slippy would be accustomed to the "I'm hungry, and I'm gonna kill this motherfucker" face. <laughs> oh God, this is no? this is you still know? happening. Oh, yeah, uh, as... Slip, Marcelina and I are just sitting here, uh, behaving ourselves and waiting patiently. Uh, do you by chance have any any food for our dear friend Marcelina here? I am food, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, wonderful. I believe Marcelina's quite a uh, fan. Yeah. Should I bring out my thermos? 
What did you what did you say to Elias? Uh, she's really chill right now. Did you use your uh, your special eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I um I I didn't want to die. No, I get that. Um, but you might still. What did you say? Well, I uh, I just politely asked um, ask Marcelina if she would have a seat and and behave with me. Uh, his nostrils flare, and he like he bites his lower lip, and he's just giving him like a like a like the eyebrows leave his face. He's like, yeah. And very well behaves your being. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. This is, like, this see is her eyes like go black. <laughs> it's very like ticking time bomb. <laughs> this <laughs> is not going out. to end well. Oh. No. Um, on, honest question: Is there? Uh, do I know of any way to try to stop this frenzy with brain powers? Yeah, see her. Oh, that's it. All right, but, slips. Yeah gonna walk over he's pulling uh, out the thermos i mean let, in, in honesty like 99 percent of the time whenever someone anyone is pissed off just feed him yeah yes you're not you when you're hungry <clears throat> i don't think we've got time for the thermos uh he's gonna l- look down at marcelina uh, with all respect uh. and he's gonna tilt her head back uh and bite his wrist and just hold it like over her her face and give her like the waterfall. Yeah. Rouse check for me, please. Yes, sir. Works. Lovely. And that that wound is opened and Marcelina still staring at Elias as the blood leaves Slip's wound and trickles into the air straight <laughs> down her throat. Satisfying her hunger. What is your hunger at the moment, Marcelina? Uh I see. How much hunger would you like to feed? Slip. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Do another (laughs) rouse check for me, please. Yep. If if you want to tap out, just say something in monster. Monster boil ad. Add some. As Marcelina drinks the Vitae that is being measured out by Slip, never once does she stop staring at Elias with pure hatred, not even blinking, until finally your hunger is slaked to one. Actually, I should have increased Slip's hunger there regardless, but it's fine. (laughs) I don't um, mind that. I'm, I'm at zero. I made the mistake. You get to benefit. Okay. So, um, question, ST. Now that I'm out of the frenzy, can I? Would I be able to to move out of the mind stuff, or I have to wait till that's called off? Okay. Okay. Cool. Which is literally until Elias says, "And relax." <laughs> <laughs> The dawn is swiftly approaching. Um, Slip's gonna. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead, Slip, if you want to do something. It, Slip's gonna bridle carry Marcelina out. Mm. It just kneels, scoops her up. Like, we, we gotta go. Mm. She can't say anything right now. <laughs> I throw Elias over my shoulder. Yeah, he figured that's what was gonna happen. <laughs> I will. I will say. Sato does cross his arms and gets a little bit, like, a little pissy. Doesn't say anything. Oh, no. It's just like, I'm a little upset right now. Sorry, Elias. Well, I guess, I suppose I'll wait until, uh, well, Marcelina and I are delivered somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're being slung over the shoulder, thrown in the car, and You'll probably have quite an awkward, silent drive back to the Haven, where you will all rest for the day. Yeah, just for fun, Elias. That's the end of last week's episode. Yeah. 
Ooh. Hey, we're here. Isn't, isn't it just one of those things where it's like, it's, I'm just saying, think they'll deal with those six hell things quick, and you did. And then you'll deal with these three, and there'll be a bit of a trouble, but you'll get rid of them a lot quicker. And, it, and that did not happen. The dice yeah, had it's, their it's, own stories. <laughs> it's weird. It's almost like someone threw fire at us. Hmm. No, it's, you know, real strange quinky dink. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, cool, man. the dice had other things they wanted. Yeah, to do. <laughs> one one guy yeah. with fire yeah. fucked the whole thing for yeah. these blood. Yeah. Which yeah. it's it's kind of amazing that that can happen. And then yeah. I could set it up so you've got an army of lupine in front of you, and then mm-hmm. they just sit there and go. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the dice, the dice have yeah. minds of their own. <laughs> Um, I will say that when we do get back to the to the um, Haven, that I don't know if Elias takes the the stuff away. Well, um, I think it, Elias. It, 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 what? What's your dominate level, Elias? Five. What? Oh well, that 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 mesmerizes. That's why I'm so good at it. Right. Okay. So he, it it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. Um. So I think <clears throat> that uh, I'm imagining like whomever is bringing her to her room, and <laughs> uh. And so I guess if that's if that slip, there is a look that she gives him where it is. It is that same thing of like, I'm. It's a promise. It is not a threat. It is a <clears throat> promise. Um, and just like for flavor there is sort of this darkness, this like oblivion that has collected itself in the room. Um, if it I could imagine get cold, as well, it yeah, you're, you're dropping the temperature slightly just because that is what oblivion does. Yeah, just that rage is building and her connection to it. So it like, the room's atmosphere has changed. Um, but yeah. <laughs> no. Um, Sorry, sorry. Let's go. Uh, would would I be able to lift the compulsions, or because I was affected by it too, would I be in a? a... I, I I think because yours was only the result of messy crit. I, I think yours is fair to say. It's... Okay, so um, whenever I get the ability to be free of the compulsion, I would want to go have a conversation with a Marcelina, lift the compulsion, and have a conversation. He probably just barely got enough time for that. Or the sunrise. Okay. Um, so uh, I would uh, <coughs> lift the compulsion. I'd also be talking to Marceline. Uh, Marceline, I'm I'm so sorry about uh, about that. It's just you were so so dangerous, and I didn't want to die. So I just tried to stop you from devouring my soul. You didn't want to die now. After all the other times, you, you didn't want to die now? Well, it's it's not a crime to defend yourself, is it? No. No, it's not. I'm just... I'm really glad. And I would, uh, I would use forgetful mind. I'm really glad you were able to <laughs> rein in your beast and control yourself. Um, and I want to like, kind of edit the memory so that Marcelina remembers her like going to eat me, but then like <laughs> great grabbing control of herself, stopping herself, and then we just kind of sat there and waited for the combat to end. I love oh. this, but Marcelina has unswayable mind, doesn't she? I know she does. She okay. should get bonuses. Okay. He's got like he's got like thirteen Ooh. fucking dice though. Ooh, this is gonna be a spicy roll. This is gonna be a spicy uh, roll. I don't, I don't think there's much I can do though. You can't change what she remembers. You can only make her forget. It literally um, becomes a blank spot, right? Yeah. No, that that is cloud memory. Forgetful mind. I'm gonna have to roll roll browse for it, but that here I'll post it. That lets me rewrite memory. I've got it in there. Oh, it allows them to edit. It allows oh, yeah. them to edit. Edit, but not change. 
Well, so um, isn't that a separate work. power to cha- allows know, changing memory? That's that's this allows the user to add me. or remove okay. an additional memory. Uh, the I victim recalls as I just take this bit out and I just take mm. this bit. I ed- I edit out. That's what I always thought it interpreted as. Well, it also says remove um, or add new memories too. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, all right then. Uh, so that is. Intelligence and resolve, Marcelina. With a what's your toughness rating? Fortitude. Oh my, oh, my fortitude. I believe it's uh, two. So add two dice. Two modifier. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, I'm not ready. So what is it? Again? It's intelligence and resolve. Yeah, with a plus two. Okay. I can't believe you would do this to me, Elias. I can't believe. I can't. Um, You've done this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add these two extra dice. Man's a genius. Um, And then oh. I'm going to use my last willpower reroll. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that it's going to fuck up. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this bitch, I'm so mad. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. And that is exactly mm-hmm. what happens as Elias looks into your eyes and mm-hmm. you're unaware of it until it is too late and you feel the memories being changed and no longer can you trust them as you remember a completely different set of events that Elias has relayed to mm. Okay. Can I just say the fucking balls on this man to use that power on Marcelina? Um, I don't know. Uh, Mar, oh man, I think Marcelina's shoulders drop and she relaxes. Um, and she just says, "Natalie's." Um, again. Thank you, Marcelina, for uh, for having the fortitude to restrain yourself. Yeah. I greatly appreciate it. Have have a good night. And again, thank you. She says nothing. <laughs> she says nothing. She's gonna lay down. She's gonna go to bed. <laughs> Elias, go to bed. Marcelina opens her eyes feeling the cold rain saturating her clothes as it torrents down in a constant. Yes, thank you, Solomon. That wasn't worth interrupting my flow for. I already had. (laughs) It's all right, Nitro. I fucking love you, babe. (laughs) Marcelina opens her eyes, feeling the cold rain saturating her clothes as it torrents down in a constant, unending flow, being thrown around by the strong wind that carries it to the side, smashing into Marcelina's face. The darkness has fully enveloped the surrounding area, blotting out the stars on either end of the alleyway. The only light emits from a single security light that constantly flickers in and out of life, highlighting a door nestled among the blackened, charred and dirt-stained wall the only feature that Marcelina can see. What would you like to do? Um, I think Marcelina will go towards the door. The door is unlocked and easily pushed open. Holds a long, plain, concrete corridor before it that Marcelina steps into. Her footsteps echo along the corridor, reverberating up the solid concrete walls and floor. Light emits in front of her, while behind her is nothing but darkness that seems to advance with her steps. She steps fruitlessly forward, before giving up after seemingly making no progress. The darkness finally engulfs her for only a brief moment. Marcelina stands still as she revels in the darkness, enjoying almost silence until in front of her, a spotlight ignites and highlights a cloaked figure bent over a body that is writhing in pain 
and struggling against the figure bent over it. As Marcelina steps towards the pair, the sounds of the man on the floor struggling become louder, and the sounds of a kindred feeling become obvious. As Marcelina approaches, she can see the kindred feeling is Elias. I think... I think Marcelina just smiles. And we'll get closer to watch him feed. Elias? Oh, is... Elias? Uh... Yes, Marcelina? Are you enjoying yourself? Um... <clears throat> you would be, Elias. This okay. eating is very extremely pleasurable for all kindred. It is more pleasurable than anything they could ever do. Ah... <clears throat> uh... Yes, it's very pleasurable. The Vitae is so warm and inviting. You should take more. You need it. But, uh, what if I don't need it? Surely I only need to sate my thirst. Marcelina takes out one of her knives that she usually has on her body and she's just going to slice into Elias's arm so that he starts bleeding. Uh, and then she goes, there. Now you need more. <laughs> uh, I guess Elias would keep feeding. Every time Elias... Uh, looks like he's, you know, sated that thirst, Marcelina will cut into him again so that he just has to keep feeding. Elias eagerly drinks deeper from the human vessel, begins to try and push him away, his strength waning as the blood leaves his body. But Elias cares not for this weak, pathetic creature under his teeth and drinks every last drop of the life-giving substance of courses through his veins. The man lets out a sharp scream as Elias tears the vein out of the man's body that he was feeding from. A small spatter of blood hit Marcelina in her face and Elias. Everyone! We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, you cannot take care of the egg. Oh, new night. Oh, new session. New session. The start mm. of a new session. Well, I'll still heal the other suit. I'll still heal the other superficial. Okay. Then I'll wake up. I mean, I, I like it because, in, in, you know, it stops you trying to be suicidal with ag damage. <clears throat> sure. And Elias awakens from his corpor, disturbed by the visions he went through, but takes solace, knowing it was just some kind of dream but his thoughts turned to the man he had drained in real life. <clears throat> Although a member of the Akuma, he still died from Elias's bite. He feels his way on the path has been damaged. When he decided this was his way forward, he knew it wouldn't be easy, but more determined than before. He leaves his room, heading downstairs, and finds a coterie already gathered together. Kenon and Satosan are sat at the far end of the table opposite each other. Their conversation cut short, as they I, Elias, taking a seat with the rest of the coterie. It seemed to be in a conversation with Slip, who for some reason wants to go to a nearby supermarket. Is 
So, <clears throat> I'm telling you guys, uh, we gotta start producing garbage. Or it's gonna look really suspicious that half a dozen people are not eating. I really think we should go, and I think it would be fun. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm completely down. Hi, Lias. So, are we going to go to this place and then bring home bags of garbage just to set out for collection? No, <clears throat> we're going to go and we're going to get stuff that, like, like living people need. And then uh, Solomon's going to enjoy it. And I want him to maybe teach me how to do that, too. Let oh, I see. Go purchase garbage from the garbage store. And then, <laughs> um, then I don't know, Elias, I figure, uh, you know... We could uh, smuggle some of the stuff out slowly and, like, donate it to shelters and stuff, you know? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought you might. If we donate it, how will that create garbage? Well, as long as people see us bringing it in and uh, we throw it out eventually, like, other stuff, you know... Well, things have wrappers and such, you know, containers yeah. and things that we can throw out in the garbage, and so it looks like we're throwing out garbage, but we've donated <laughs> food, right? And uh, and then we have things to throw in the trash. Oh, yes, wonderful. Are you, are you okay, Elias? You look a little, I don't know, upset. Well, I, um... I didn't sleep as well as I'd like last night. I had quite a quite a terrible nightmare, I suppose. Oh, I get those all the time. What was your nightmare about? Wait. Our it kind was, uh, don't normally get nightmares. I've kind of gotten used to her having them, but why you and I? <clears throat> well, perhaps it's because I try to maintain my humanity, but I'm not sure. I did have a dream about uh, <laughs> feeding from someone, which I, I don't normally do. Maybe that uh, Akuma I fed one is starting to just bother me. Are you hungry? I'm starving. I'm... <laughs> I'm a little hungry, but not terribly so. I just drained like a whole leg into you last night. I'm a growing girl. I need a lot of food. Oh, um, true. So, Elias, you said you were dreaming about feeding somebody? Or feeding on somebody, rather? Uh, yes, I did have that dream. Mm. What nightmare? Well, what's so bad about that? You were just being what we are. Well... It wasn't <clears throat> bad per se, but it goes against the lifestyle I'm living. Oh, I see. I should like the chance to talk about that eventually, Elias. I'm just trying to make the, uh, <laughs> the world a better place through my actions. Indeed. Hmm. I would yeah. like to learn more about your worldview. Uh, quick question. Um, your cult, do they, like, cut your hair when you join, or um, is there, like, a uniform? <laughs> My, um, well, first of all, Slip, it's mm -hmm. it's not a cult. We uh, are a, uh, a tight-knit community <laughs> with shared ideals. Um, as as, <laughs> as he says that, Marcelino's mouthing <clears throat> the same words, because that's what he says every time. <laughs> I was uh, I was gonna put uh, Sato actually speaks up like, yes, a community. I'm right, sure. right. And so when people join your cult, do you cut their hair? <clears throat> no, there's no such restrictions like that. Oh, do you guys have like a gated community somewhere? The uh, my followers live in the uh, attic of the old haven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still back there. Don't worry about them. My, my like, girls are, are keeping an eye and making sure they're okay. They're taking care of themselves. So they all live in one house? 
Yeah. Yes, why do you think we had so many beds up there? Are the beds on like one room? Well, you, mm, yes. spread out. I'm, and I'm, it's not a cult. They're spread out. No, it's not a cult, Slip. Oh, we're the it's beds left room for Jesus. That doesn't mean they're not a cult. <laughs> It's a community where they all take care of them, each other, you know? Uh, yes. Cur uh, curious. Uh, thank you, Marcelina. It's a community. We support one of another. Course. And mm -hmm. I just help guide them to finding their own personal paths to enlightenment. Okay. Your personal paths? Are there like Yours. more? Oh, that's the... Mm. Well, I, uh, I preach what I do and... If people want to follow along the same or similar path or interpret it as they see fit, so long as they are, um, you know, uh, loving loving one another as they love themselves and when helping. When you say follow along, do they have, do they have your writings in, like, a book? Do they have a scripture? Do, do oh, they I think that's easy. Well, I imagine it's, it's quite simple for mortals to refrain from... Consuming blood. Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen Elias preach to his to his group, and you know they just sit there and uh, listen and and hear what he has to say. And so, as far as I've seen, no one's had to consume <clears throat> anything or read a book or anything like that. Oh. <clears throat> are there like more boys than girls, or is it like just young people? Like, what what are the demographics you're is talking? This a, is this a co-ed cult? Uh, it's it's not a cult, but yes, uh, our membership is not restricted based on age or gender or anything of the sort. We're a very inclusive community. They are a community, you guys. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so what's like, um, <laughs> how many people do you have in your community? I think, it, what, what was it, Eight? No, there's a little bit more than that. Oh, I, I thought there was more. It's hard Not, to tell with people coming in and out. It's, it's, you seen them all? Mm. It's, it's, it's a fairly small group. Uh, it's only <laughs> eight members right now. We haven't really pushed very hard to <laughs> grow the community. We don't want to outgrow the space we're given. You mean your attic? Yes. It's a really spacious attic, to be fair. <laughs> I'll say there's six, because I can't afford this. So we'll say six. Mm -hmm. That way they can't bunk. <clears throat> but, like, also, they're not, rest like, confined to just the attic. They have the whole house. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. The attic is just where we have the bunk beds set up so they can sleep. And, of course, chests with their personal belongings and... Mm -hmm. But yes, they have the, the whole house. They use the kitchen. They clean. They do about whatever daily tasks or chores or whatever they want. <clears throat> they, they go have for freedom. walks. They can. They go for walks so they can stretch their legs. You guys, I really think that you oh. are are so much more worried about this community than you need to be. Well, thank you, Marcelina. They go for walks in the sun. It's so mm -hmm. wonderful. Or you and let I'm your sure. people leave the compound? Mm -hmm. Well, of, of course they're not. Uh, they're not restricted from going out and running errands. Oh. Well, yes, they they spend not. time in our warehouse, aren't you? Growing things, vegetables and whatnot, them to eat. Yes. What? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We have a. I believe we set up a hydroponic garden. Yes, we did. It's hydroponics. Oh, yeah. Hydro what else? medium are you using there, then, in that hydroponics? What? What medium do you use in your hydroponics system? <laughs> Water and light? That's not a medium. There unless is... You're doing air, unless you're doing hydroponics. There is people in the cult god, uh, in the community, rather, that uh, are experts on this, and mm. they take care of it. I mean, you... <laughs> I mean, are we, are we looking at using a uh, coconut qua? Are you using a vermiculite perlite mix? Um, what? Well, come on. Are you using pumice? You can use pumice. Well, the way I... Rockwell? I... 
And well, on what feeding uh, <clears throat> method are you using? Are you using an ebb and flow Two. method or an uh, NFT? All right, based all right, thing? God, you're not in <laughs> this the intervention. <laughs> I will burn the church down. Go away. <laughs> anyway, the community's great and they're doing great. You know, healthy. I get I get messages. Well, I did before I broke my phone. Uh, got messages from my girls who <clears throat> let me know what was going on, and everybody seemed fine. Cool, all right. Nonetheless, yeah. I, I find Jeff. myself intrigued. Mm. To, to appease you, how about this? They make their own um, organic soil. And mm -hmm. uh, that's not hydroponics, then, is it? Because you're using fucking soil. This I can't right now, Tim. You're not here. <laughs> Um, so literally what hydroponics yeah. means. Well, it was hydroponics. Like, oh, you soil. Yeah. It was hydroponics until you wanted information. So now they just took a whole <laughs> bunch of dirt and just laid it over the top of the roof and they yes. fertilize it themselves. And that's yes. how they're going it. Oh, so there we go. Stop your cult using a loo. You make them shit on the roof. <laughs> yeah. It, it, that's Perfect. why it's a flat roof, Chef. Hey, so we can go <laughs> right, as long as we've established this as Tanner, I am happy to move forward. Hey, if I'm they're amazing. eating nothing but veggies, that they're if they go to the bathroom on on in the garden, that that's really good fertilizer. As long as they're not oh, eating uh, meat. Question. Yeah. Are they? Uh, uh, did we establish that they're vegetarian? I think we well, did. If they're, no, if they're so. eating the food they're growing, I don't think that's a restriction. But it's mm. probably what's freely available without them mm. going out and getting a job. That was the assumption. Right, right. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Are they allowed to have jobs? I don't know. Shiv, how hard is it to get a job in uh, Japan? Oh. Uh, probably super. So no, they don't have jobs. <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um, anyway, so. Now that we've established it's not a cult, it's a community. Um, can we take this community to the supermarket? Please. Cool. Um, I'm, I was just going to say, uh, Sato is going to catch eyes with uh, Kenun and kind of like nod at him. And then nod towards Elias. Kenun nods back. We were hoping to have a bit of a discussion. Our dear Sato has some questions. Specifically for Elias. Oh, please, please ask away. It might take some time, though, so please do carry on the supermarket. Have fun with your shopping. Yeah. We'll all be here when you get back. Marcelina is looking at Sato with just like the bare scent of a smile on her face and then looks at Slip and looks at Solomon and like, all right, boys, let's go. And she's going to get up. Go get her guns. Uh, and then after that, she's going to head to the car. Uh, do either of you want just to get anything? I'm excited to see what I find there. Could you grab some cold medicine? Is it for drugs? Of course it is. Then I will absolutely do that. <laughs> Kendra, you. you didn't think you're good? Quite all right. Thank you, though. All right. Luro, Kenun, do you need Luro? Do you need how much Luro do you need, Kenun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Before we go, uh, how many rolls of toilet paper are left? <laughs> I made sure to buy a six pack when we moved in, but I haven't checked since. Perhaps you should go and count them, Slip. I will. I will do that. I have been given. I will. I will go do that. Six rolls left. They're all there. <laughs> yeah, they're all there. <laughs> Fucking knew it. All right. I'm, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> if there was a look on the roof of the house, had... massive pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Slip marches through. He he looks so pleased with himself. Somehow, still horribly burned, looks very happy. Pulls his his face mask on. Pulls his hood up. He's like, all right, we can go. Um. I think Marcelina will take out uh, when when we get to the the car. She'll out of uh, her pocket. She will take out a pair of gloves and give them to um, Slip for your hands. They look a little. Charred. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm. How you doing? Yeah. Ow. Mm. <laughs> uh, Solomon, are you ready? I'm always ready. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, and some more slaves are gonna get in the front front seat. There's a little bit of like finally <laughs> driving. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. yeah, as you make your way to Yalco, okay. it's a supermarket, just a short drive away. Is there anything you'd like to talk about on your drive? Okay, so it's just uh, it's just Solomon, Elias, Marcelina, and Slip, right? No, no, no. Oh, it's... No, we it's, stole Elias. Yeah, it's me, Solomon, and you. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's just us, buddy. <laughs> cool. Uh, who's sitting shotgun? Whoever wants to. Be. Yeah, if it's not called, I guess I will, but depends on what you want. Uh, well, no, uh, slip, his his face like I've... appears from like between the seats. Yeah. <laughs> be yeah. appropriate if it was slip because he is the one that's closest to being a shotgun at the moment. Amazing. Just for that, it's Solomon. <laughs> so I got a question for both of you, yes. actually. <clears throat> Marcelina is so very enraptured with um, me and Sato, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, I've got a question. Did, did you, have you like never dated anyone before? Like when you were like alive or like since? No, I mean, the family sort of was like, hey, this is a thing that biologically you can do. So if you're interested, here's your options. And Fuck I, you know. I like sort of t t tested it out, but like, I don't know, I'm not really interested in that kind of Like thing. when you were alive, they phrased it that way? Yeah. Uh, well, I was. Oh. I mean. Well, and Hikata line up their family and basically say, you could do them if you want. Um, like, I, it's, it's a little weird, I guess, right? Because not everybody grows up the same way I did, but, um, I was sort of. I was an orphan and taken in by the family, and then they trained me, um, and that was that, you know? So, so everything so, else kind of fell by the wayside. So you did dabble, though, like, at least the once? Uh, well, not in dating, because I'm not really interested in, in that type of thing, right. but um, in the physical shit, yeah. For sure. Uh, okay, so you... you you're not interested, but you're fascinated? Curious, for sure. Curious. Okay. Uh, yeah. Solomon, do you got any exes, or...? Well, in my line of work, you meet other like-minded people that share your interests, but then you find that your work takes up more time than will allow for a healthy relationship. So, I've dipped my toe into it, but... It's more of an inefficient use of time, in my opinion. When when you were alive as well? When I was alive, yes. When I was when I finally you know, shed my motor coil, I said fuck that shit. Never went back. Right, it just seems like a whole lot of effort, both like physically and I guess emotionally, if you have those, uh, yeah. to put into another person who's inevitably going to either betray you or die. So it just seems oh like God. a big old waste, you know? No, it, it, sure. Granted, I, mean, I, like, I spent um, a lot of time in a lab doing lab work. I don't know how much time you seem to be very efficient with your computers and your Wi-Fi's and your hacking. Um, <laughs> so I feel like if if you find it important, it's not as inefficient for you to take. But <clears throat> I never I I never was like I don't have time for this. That's such a weird way to look at it to me. I, I don't know. But I'm also, I think, the youngest here. That's probably true. 
So, but I, but I don't know that age really has anything to do with it because I'm I'm pretty sure there's others that totally engage in that kind of thing, you know. Well, well, yes, it depends how soon after your lack of a better term death did you and Sato meet, or did you meet before then? Well, <clears throat> I was turned. And I got like the two week up and Adam from my sire, who then fucked off to London and uh, ate the bad business end of a shotgun. Oh, uh, wow. And, and then happened. I met it, it had tragic. I cry every time. Um, <clears throat> then, it was, uh, <laughs> then it was over this away because uh, uh, the ivory tower was like, we need a tech guy out mm. like in in like the nippon you you you're going to go and that's when i met the primogen that you guys know uh and i spent like a month with that guy and then On i got adventure. like my yeah mm -hmm. yeah i was like his short term tech guy but then he was like yeah i got to put you here so that you know you know we've got things in place and we'll contact you uh and pff, boy did he not but mm. Uh, and it was maybe like a year or so uh, that mm. afterwards that I mm. met Sato. Yeah. And was like, fuck. Is what that a QT. what? Is that is that what it is when you fall in love with someone? Is, well, is that they... wasn't. Well, we oh, didn't... so you're not you're not in love with Sato. Well, when we met, it wasn't like that immediately. Oh, okay. Well, so it's not a quick thing. Okay. No. Yes. I mean, you were you were a year into your quite young. I feel like that naturally happens. And if yeah. it stays that way, it could be good. It could be bad. It doesn't. It depends on the kindred involved, I guess. Mm. And then uh, the rest developed. Just I don't know, sort of naturally. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think the thing with Kindred, right, is like that dependent on age, once they get past a certain point, right, they mm -hmm. remain sentient, but they stop being sapient. Okay. Yes. And once you pass that threshold, like, I would think that then is when, like, uh, physical and emotional matters might peel away, like with Violet. But you mm -hmm. guys are saying that, like, no, we were always, like, mm -hmm. Well, disregard women acquire currency i mean disregard all genders you know and acquire currency but like uh i don't know i think violet still feels affection mm. and such i mean she does for, for whomever that that friend of hers is yes i i feel like it depends on the type of because like you said kindred in that way can blow off any type of relationship with anybody they've known friendly, um, romantic, outright just sexual. Um, it's, mm. it's kind of just a gamut. Uh, and if you find a good bond, it's, I don't know. There, there's a weird thing. <clears throat> there's a reason why emotions feel so relatively purely research. It, they're hard mm. to explain even to us that defy the laws of physics. I don't know about that emotion business. You know what I mean? Specifically, <clears throat> like, towards other people. Because I don't really, like, even when I was alive, I don't think I've ever felt, a, what's the word, affection towards anyone? You know? Not even, like, your mom? Oh, definitely not her. Oh, your dad? No. Your people? No, that's why I Your often... uncle? That's different. Okay. It's not really affection. It's more like, um... Like loyalty. You know what I mean? That's a different thing. He's family. I don't... I don't know that Violet does work that way, because I did ask her a bit about that stuff, um, when mm. I was, uh, trying to get a read on her situation, and when I brought up, like, you know, love and all that, she looked at me like I was the point zero zero one percent of germ soap doesn't kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, has it ever occurred to you that maybe that was just a little too personal if she didn't want to share it with you? 
Uh, she's very, she's very like possessive of that friend, you know. So maybe it was just something she didn't want to share. Maybe, maybe. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, back at the temporary haven in Edogawa, sat between Sato and Kenun is the hapless Elias. What's going on there? <laughs> Sorry, I just dropped my tablet in the trash can on accident. That's what I thought that was. <clears throat> uh, I think Sato's gonna start this. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> Elias, I want a completely honest answer. No frills, no nothing. <laughs> Do you know what the definition of a cult is. <clears throat> well, I know... I know culture generally... bad things, like... with blood sacrifices, and... You, usually you don't hear... term cult used in a... positive... um... positive... Uh, Life. Man, I think um, the answer here life. is no. Well, yes, no. What is the definition of a... Well... If you get to enlighten... I'd be happy to. Well, it actually depends on what you're talking about. A historical context. A cult of anything was just a religious group or grouping or a philosophical one, even. Yes, modern-wise, a cult is generally a, uh... High control group? Yes. A single individual who uses social tactics to control another group of people into behaving according to a code. Generally, it's manipulation, lying, various other things. Keeps them financially dependent, emotionally dependent, philosophically dependent. And in some cases, depending on any research you might do, the leader in question may not even be aware of the danger of their action. Well, I Elias, don't... Yes. Please, please, please continue what you are going to say. Well, I suppose if if um, it is a community that is either religious or philosophical, I suppose by those definitions you've given, it is it is possible that, uh, or even likely, that my community could be construed as a cult, but then so could any religious organization or, or community of like-minded ideology. Alas, and there is a last-minute deflection. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not... I'm not denying that my community fits the definition you've given. That is, it's certainly undeniable. However, it is important to note that many other communities fit that description as well. And... Why are they not considered cults, but my community would? Oh, well, simple matters. We're not talking about them, Elias. We're talking about you. So, that seems like a deflection to me. <sighs> uh, are both my community and another community cults as well? Yes, like there are them? other cults in this world besides yours, Elias. Well, as Elias. long as... Go ahead, yes, please. This... Mm, my next question is going to change the topic a bit. So if what you're about to say is going to be on topic, I'd say it now before I ask my next question. 
Well, just if... What I think would be fair is, by that definition given, um, as long as every group or community that fits that definition is called a cult, then yes, it would be fair to call my community a cult. That Absolutely. is how definitions work. Thank you. However, if that definition is not applied equally to all communities and groups who fit that definition, then how is it fair to pick and choose who gets the cult nomenclature and who gets the um, religion or other community nomenclatures? Oh, well, if it helps you on my side, Elias, I think every religion is a cult. Well, then I guess that is my opinion. Well, that's fair. At least you're applying that logic equally to all groups. Anun, anything before I ask my next question? Oh, no. Carry on, Sada. All right. Next question. Elias, do you think you're dangerous? <coughs> <laughs> No, not at all. I have no intention of hurting anyone. I, uh, I don't feel I'm dangerous. I just... And he pinches the bridge of his nose. I just, um, I have my goals, and I am striving to achieve those goals. And my goals are peaceful ones. Ah, I would have wanted a different answer. Elias... I hate to be blunt. All right, that's a lie. I don't mind being blunt. You are dangerous. I'm dangerous. Every single member of this coterie, every Gaki, every Kinjin, everyone is dangerous. There's different levels of dangerous. Well, I see what you're saying. Um... Perhaps if you define dangerous, I could change my answer. Dangerous. The likelihood, the likeliness or ability to cause harm. A, to a poison sitting on a shelf is still dangerous. Yes, it's going to take an action to drink the damn thing, but it's still dangerous. Generally, when I use my abilities it is to prevent dangerous interactions or to protect others however if i lose control i suppose there is the possibility for dangerous interactions we we can all succumb to our beast elias carry on carry on <clears throat> the the beast isn't just the dangerous part your abilities are dangerous. Do you know what it means to root around in someone's mind? I can do the same thing you can. And I don't consider my abilities to be avoiding danger. I just well, simply believe my dangerous action is necessary. Well, um, as the definition you've provided is dangerous is the potential for harm, then even though harm is not my intent, I do have the potential for harm. Therefore, I suppose I would be considered dangerous. So you do not believe you cause harm, then? I definitely have the capacity to cause, cause harm. So you believe is, that you do not cause harm? That is your is, belief? <clears throat> it is not my intent i am not asking harm. about your intent i am asking about the actions you take <laughs> you believe that by your actions you avoid causing harm yes you to the best of my abilities are a fool <laughs> there's no other way to put it 
You <clears throat> strive so hard to be nice, Elias, that you are blind to what it means to be good. You have no regard for the balance of things, and so you remain an unwitting tool of evil. And every step along this path of enlightenment you've chosen carries you farther and farther away from that truth you call Golconda. Well, I've started down this path. I would <coughs> like to try to maintain this path. If Though it leads you further away from your goals that you say you intend to pursue? Well, from my perspective, I believe I, I am on a correct path. However, if I am mistaken, if this road ends up being a dead end, then I will not give up. I will remember these conversations we've had, and I will take another path. Even if it means backtracking and walking the path I had traveled just to take another path. Hedgehog table, horror symbol. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Over at the supermarket, as the trio of undead walk into the 24 hour Yauco supermarket. I don't know how, is that too loud? No, it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <clears throat> Slip leads the charge into the entrance hall even making use of the rubbing alcohol by the door, before walking towards a strange, cool, cart-like device that he places two metal shopping baskets in, and finally turns to his companions, looking almost excited at the two bewildered kindred with him, and gestures for them to follow him inside, where they stand among various locally grown fruits and vegetables. Running along the nearest wall is a long display of more vegetables, what appears to be steam vapour billows out over the food on display, and most intriguing of all is the model train track suspended from the ceiling, complete with a train slowly chugging along the track over their heads. Clusters of pine eat to themselves and quietly go about their shopping. I I've been think... to a grocery store with that exact train over top. I love it. You can see it in the picture. <laughs> In the U.S., it's Wegmans. <laughs> yep, that was the story. Yes. Yep. Yauco in Japan. Beautiful. So um, I think out of everything going on, as like Slip is excitedly weeding them through the 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 grocery store, I think Marcelino is most fascinated by the train. <laughs> She's trying to figure out why they have a train going around the supermarket. You know what I mean? I think she's just like. What is this? You know? Um, but she is following along. Yeah. All right. So after we get stuff here, we should probably stop off and get a new television, uh, maybe a DVD player, uh, and get some movies, a right? What? A DVD player. You're not going to get a DVD player in Japan. You're going to get a Blu-ray player. Blu-ray. Oh, the Japanese, Blu -ray. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um... Uh, wait, a what? A, a Blu-ray play? Uh, is, is yeah. It, is it, are Blu-rays what is, <clears throat> is what the tech... I've oh, heard Bluetooth shit, We can't call it a Blu-ray either, because that's copyright. Uh, a green Egon. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a, a green e is it Egon. Copy Egon, yeah, because Ray, Egon, Peter, Winston. <clears throat> well, I know, I think... E I yeah, we're going to get a... Yeah, I, I liked my, gre uh, my, my Ray analogy better, so... A green, a green Ray, is, is that... Is that what, like, Green Tooth technology uses, is Green Rays? No. So... <laughs> oh, what? I think Marcelina, like, gets in close, because she realizes, like, we spend a lot of time around just Kindred, and she's, like, realizing, like, oh, wait, these are fucking humans. And if uh, Sullivan, who's, who doesn't look that old, is like, what's a fucking Green Ray? <laughs> she, like, tugs him closer um, and lowers her voice. Um, and it's like, right, so we, this is a, a, a thing we can watch movies on? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. so Bluetooth and Blu-ray are different. Uh, Blu-ray is an updated, like, a more high-tech version of a compact disc. You know the CD is? You mean Green Ray? I've, I've heard of that. Yeah, Green Ray, Green Ray. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Bluetooth is a wireless uh, connective device, and it's called Bluetooth because the symbol for Bluetooth 
is a uh, Viking symbol turned onto its side. Oh, like and, the king. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, okay, movies. That's right, because you, and she points at Solomon, don't want fuck fucking movies. We watched a lot of movies in the orphanage, so I, I will do, show you all the movies. I, I okay? do science. That This is what I spend my time oh, doing. But there's movies about science, too. There are movies, movies about, about science? science. Movies yes. about weird science. science. Yes, oh. holy shit. There's movies about there's... science. There's movies about science. It's oh, a whole new world. I'm completely and intrigued now. For reasons, I will not name any of them at this moment. Right. Mm. Oh, there's, there's a movie that I think you're going to love so much, right? And it's about <clears throat> this doctor, this, this like, creepy scientist oh. who uh -huh. gets dead body parts, and he puts them together, sews them up, and then through this, like, huge lightning storm passes by, and lightning strikes, and the body comes to life. I mean, like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Sure, she's not supposed to say the names. <laughs> no, that, name. that, that's all right. That's copyright. That's that's public domain. Yeah, we've actually <laughs> we've actually <laughs> talked about that book before. That's why yeah. I know it's okay. I'm tweeted that whole thing to try to avoid saying the name. It's fine. Yes, I mean, I mean that one. Yes, they made it a movie, and it's great. There's a couple of iterations of it actually also, that are pretty. It's Marie Shelley, isn't it? Not Mary Shelley. I got that wrong. Regardless. All right. Shelly, Shelly made a story about shit that basically you do. Okay. <laughs> you know what else I, you I can get him? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna say the name because this is just a fun game, it. and I'm I'm doing this by choice. Um, yes, have it. It, 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 <laughs> the guy's gonna teleport her, and he's trying to invent teleportation, right? But a fly gets in the thing. That's right up Solomon's fucking alley. You the will. Hornet. Love it. Yeah, the Hornet. You're going to yes. love it. It's going to be so great. You you might also like the story about these people go into space, right? And this species comes nope. on to nope. the ship. No nope. nope. and, and a whole thing ensues. You're going to be so inspired by did, the creature itself. How, how did they get yep. the budget to film in space? No, 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 no. They didn't actually go to space. It's, it's all, all set. Yeah. All pretend. Yeah. Special effects. You're going to fucking love it. We're going to have a fucking movie now. It's, gonna be great. it's a musical. Yep. It's got the tagline, in space, no one can hear you sing. <laughs> it's, it's a great musical. movie. Don't it's let a God great movie about a smart artist. woman. Yes, yes. It, it, it's a great movie about a smart woman and a cat, and no one listens to her, and then they die. Right, and then there's, I can't remember if it's a sequel or if it's in that first one, but there is at one point where it, get, it gets, it impregnates a person, and then the little baby xenomorph pops out the stomach, and it's fucking great. It's a great time. It's it is the first one. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to fucking love it. You're going to think it's amazing. You're going to be so inspired, I bet you. Next time that you do your, you know, your thing, uh, you're gonna look just like it. Well, I'm hooked. I'm ready for this movie night. <laughs> you're in a weirdly good mood today, Marcelina. I'm so pleased. I thought you were what? gonna be just f freaked out. Well, what? I mean, we get into fights all the time, and granted, it didn't go the best. You know, not well, as I imagined it, but we're fine, well, right? We're alive. Well, yeah, but the way things ended, I was really nervous about the, the next day. And I'm glad that you're just, like, chill. What happened? Meanwhile, back at the temporary haven. <clears throat> um, I, I am curious. I, I understand I'm, I'm on a path I have chosen towards enlightenment. and. It may be the wrong path, but it's the path I've chosen, and I want to take this path to its culmination. What, what path would you suggest would be a more true path in case I get to the end of my path and it turns out to be a dead end? I believe, Elias, that should you reach that dead end, you will not have a way back. Would you like me to tell you how I see this path that you are on? 
Um, very well. In my eyes, Elias, I see that you are wholly ruled by your other soul. You live in fear of your Poe, your beast, and so it shadows your every action. Denial is not mastery. Fear of doing wrong has left you unable to do right. You are as a gardener who fears to pluck weeds and so permits his crop to choke and wither. To let all things live without discretion is to allow the parasite to consume its host, and then both lives die in agony. Which is more cruel, Elias, to take a life cleanly and quickly, or to allow contagion to flourish and sow suffering unheeded? How is it moral to wash your hands of the world? <clears throat> I can certainly see the merits to your argument sometimes if you need to <clears throat> uh, root out the weeds or, or prune the branches, to say, if you have criminals or those who would do others harm. Sometimes you can reduce greater harm by inflicting harm on those who would harm others. I, I understand the sentiment. I don't feel it's currently the path for me. But uh, again, if, if I reach the end of this path and it, it is not- If you reach the end of the path that you are on, it shall already be far too late for you. Sometimes we are given the opportunity to take multiple paths in life. Or unlike, I, I should say. I pray that you find a new path before this one reaches its end. Well, I fear I'm too invested in this. It has been quite a long time since I've been on this. And though I ah, have... Ah, so you say that you are set in your ways. Too afraid to change, perhaps? Too committed to your ideals to even reconsider? No. This is the second path I've taken. I've, I've changed my ideals, and I've changed my ways once before. I see. And if given the opportunity, I would like to finish this path out as I did the other path before I realize I've made a mistake. For all I know, there are many I could... mistakes. Perhaps. But until I reach that culmination, I don't know if, my, if they are mistakes or if they are the correct choice. But if I reach the end of the path and I do not achieve Galconda, then I will change paths. I will... I will, um... No, I believe by then you shall have reached the end of your road. Sometimes when Is one road... Is it a road? <laughs> sometimes when one road ends, another begins. And then sometimes it doesn't. Perhaps. But at least uh, there could be some comfort in silence. Ah, yes. Silence. I believe that is exactly what the Yama Kings have in store for you. So, um, you believe a more correct path to enlightenment is embracing one's beast? Embracing one's beast not as such, simply minding the balance. Your beast rules you, through fear rather than outright, but nonetheless, it rules you. I see. So it is incorrect to shackle your beast, and it is incorrect to succumb to your beast, but it is more correct to find a balance between your beast. Yes. There are occasions when such things are useful. I, um... We all have our part to play within the Great Cycle. We are as we are for a reason. I will, uh... I will certainly take this philosophy to heart and contemplate on it. 
Kenan just nods slightly, almost a, a shadow of a bow. I'm, I'm not sure if Sato's actually returned or not, but is there anything I, Sato has? I am to here. Uh, <clears throat> um, I, I think Sato is kind of... He's not saying anything, but he looks very lost in thought as he was listening to Kenun talk. And he's a little bit preoccupied with that, that he, he isn't going to say anything at this moment. Has your conversation reached a conclusion and you would like to go and meet with your friends at the supermarket, or is there anything you'd like to talk about on the way? Basically, I question your moral system, your beliefs are worthless to us, Elias. Kill yourself. Poor Elias. <laughs> Very well. Back at the supermarket. Just before Kenon, Elias, and Sato catch up with the other coterie, what's going on there? Are you all saying hello to Kendu? I think that, um, I think Marcelina has, like, uh, both Slip and Solomon by, like, the sleeves of their shirts and has them in the, the like, the movie <laughs> section of the supermarket. You know how every supermarket has, like, a little electronics area? Um, and I think she's just perusing the, 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 the movies with them, you know, and being like, oh, we should get this one. And like, I'm sure at this point they have like little baskets full of food. Yeah, you'll, you'll be going puppies. through and looking at the movies like, uh, too swift, too angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, definitely getting some classic Japanese horror as well, because I have to show that to that's the shit that I actually oh, yeah, like. Um, on, so, yeah. Suck Lou. Yes, and so I'm like, we're putting it in there, okay. and and I'm just looking at at a uh, at Solomon. I'm like, you're gonna fucking love this one. It's real gross, but you're gonna love it. And <laughs> just putting all these <laughs> movies into her basket. Niban the killer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Um, uh, Slip is pointedly on. avoiding any Ooh. car heist movies. Shiv, I, I got one you'll like. Uh, Friday the 4th? Yes. The very <laughs> time. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yes. The the nightmare before Halloween. The holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just putting the classics. And nightmare she's like being like, Oak oh, Street. Why? Oh, and she. So you know, in Japan. Oh, damn. Yes, and like being like, oh, this is, I grew up watching this one, and oh, my cousin this, and my uncle that, you know, like telling stories, and they're horrific stories. Like, <laughs> they're, Quiet night, they're, dead night. You know, they're their own horror stories of, of her having these very fond memories um, that she's sharing with them. So, What's this yeah. one? The, the man on the front has white face paint. It's called The Raven. <clears throat> oh, this one is so good it's so much fun you know at the very end of that well i don't want to spoil it for you never mind um but he's no longer with us unfortunately uh she says unfortunately but her face is like <laughs> does he become a raven i'm not gonna like spoil daisy? it for you no daisy is very oh. unique in that but i'm not gonna spoil the story for you <laughs> okay. yeah I'm Slip has like half pieced together what happened and Marcelina has cruised on right by. He's not turning the conversation back around. He's going right past it. Right. No, because what she's going to do, right, is um, that, you know, I think we need snacks, right? Because that's what that's what humans do when yeah. they watch movies, right? Snacks. Solomon, yep. why don't you go to, I think it's that aisle of my Japanese is correct, and you can pick up a bunch of snacks in there. I just want to have a quick conversation with Slip. Yeah, of course. Get a couple of the boxes of the Barrio Brothers mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I and I. I think it's like, it's gonna have it's gonna have like uh, two Spanish uh, air conditioning repair guys in the front. Uh, you can't miss it. <laughs> uh, I think Marcelino, once he goes, 
will will stop and like that face she had drops and she looks at Slip and says, "What happened?" He immediately also he he regresses into like pretty much says like, "Oh my god, you don't fucking remember?" No, is there something I should remember? Last thing I remember was I was I've... really hungry and I was standing in front of Elias and you know how he smells so fucking good like a fucking idiot. Um yep. and and I was gonna do the thing, right? But then yep. I but then I just like I don't know, I managed to calm down and and I thought, well, I guess I'll just wait till we get home to eat, you know. Um So, yeah. What happened? His, his mouth is stuck open and his his eyes are just slowly getting wider as like sacred geometry starts flying past his head. Mm. I think at seeing that, uh, that's when uh, his eyes start to narrow real slow, like almost in time with his eyes widening, they <laughs> start to narrow. You know, and at that point, <laughs> the other three kindred <laughs> walk into the supermarket. Mm. I. Mm-hmm. Really don't mind him like defending himself, but uh, I wish he would let me know when he has done it so that I mean? can. What? What do you mean, Slip? Well, I remember something that happened, and you don't. Would this be a good moment for the three of us to just awkwardly saunter? Absolutely. Please. <clears throat> and, and he's giving her this look like, I don't have to say it. And then they walk up and he's just like, I hate you. We're just oh. still like speaking <clears throat> philosophy, quibbling about definitions. Uh, Sato's like <laughs> really focused on the ground as he's thinking. Ah, oh, but you see, if you define harm to include the mental. Oh. On top. You guys talking about abuse? Well, I think we're more so talking about our philosophy, and sometimes it is good to prune dead branches and pull the weeds. So, yes. And Noon just, he's got this really broad grin right now. She's like, yes, it was indeed in love. Um, cool. Marcelina, slip. How, uh, how is the shopping going? Marcelina looks at Slip, right? And there is just a passing moment of murder written on her face. And then <laughs> suddenly turns around, she goes, hi guys. Uh, so we got a bunch of movies. We're going to have a movie night. Oh. How do you guys feel about that? <clears throat> um, um, do they have that? Do they have that old movie? The Killer Carrots from Space? He believes? I don't know. It might. That's going to be at the bottom of the bin. Hold on. I'm going to look for that and that attack of the, uh, you know, the Killer Rodeo Clowns from Space. Hmm. Well, you end up finding Attack of the Killer Radishes instead. <laughs> oh, I found, uh, like, a Chinese bootleg. Ooh. So... Marcelina sets the the basket of movies down, um, and she is going to, without saying a word, walk away. And she's walking towards Solomon, where we're in the aisle that he's in. Um, so she's going to walk to Solomon. <laughs> yeah, Solomon would have like gone to the ship or like the snack aisle, like he was told, but then he kind of just started wandering the store um, and looking <laughs> at everything. <laughs> Um, and then he probably would have, by the time you were making it to where you were You find him in the lady sanitary aisle. Amazing. Um, Solomon. Yes, um, What are you? Oh, well, I was just, I was looking all over. I found some of the chips <laughs> that you wanted. Um. Uh-huh. I was going sorry. to say. I'm sorry, I have to. I'm just picking him actually in the sanitary aisle. And he's like opening his box of tampons or something like that. Marcy come. What are you doing? <laughs> God. He's not very nice. Oh my God. He's, he's not a, doing that. He's a scientist. He would know about that stuff. He knows about that stuff, you ass. Um, 
You know, just it's... seeing Sat opening it, you know, pouring blue liquid into the box, going, <laughs> do this once a month. Testing, testing them, see which ones are actually going to... Anyway, that's gross. Uh, so... No, just to make finding them easier, he would have trekked back to the snack aisle that he was told to go to. But he's got right, a bunch right. of other things kind of just under his arms and in his um, thing. Um, I Solid. found... Yes. What? You were supposed to get snacks. What's I did. happening? I did. Well, um, I, mm -hmm. I don't know anything about... Well, I don't have any preferences with the chips that I found. Although I did find these... Uh, flaky, I can't read the cover, but it looks like dried, um, muscle tendons, almost. It's very flaky and dried out. It smells a bit of squid. Um, oh. uh, it, it looks really interesting. I also found, um, did you know that they have many different flavors of milk here? And, and I figured, I, I you know, I heard <laughs> that people are more, are trying to get more, uh, you know, by uh, environmentally friendly dairy products right. such as like almond milk and oat milk but here they yeah, have they got a whole collection yeah mm -hmm. they had banana milk and i didn't know that's just that that's just could... milk with banana flavor in that's i that makes so much more sense i was trying yeah. to figure out how they made milk out of a banana i guess that explains the melon milk too right Yes, that's it's just melon flavor in. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I well, put it in the basket, I guess. Um. Uh, I I have a question for you. Yes. And I I mean you are rational and someone of sound mind. Mm -hmm. Um. Right. So yesterday I remember that I got a little hungry. Right, and I was gonna take a munch out of Elias. Mm, you shot me in. Oh, I'm sorry. You shot me in the leg. Yes. I shot you in the leg. That's right. I did do that. I'm. I am. We're, we're in well, public. We're in public. Remember. Oh, that's right. Shit. Um, I did shoot you in the leg, and mm -hmm. I am sorry about it's, that. I've, I've gotten used to be honest. Right. Cool. Um, that's really great. Uh, but I, I'm getting the sense that. The events that I recall from mm -hmm. uh, last evening mm -hmm. aren't exactly what happened. Is that true? At that moment, the general <laughs> hustle and bustle of the supermarket is drowned out. Over the sudden air-splitting screams and shouts, they instantly react and watch as a man runs out of the supermarket, a bundle of clothes wrapped between his arms tightly as a woman cries and reaches out at him, and no one else seems to even bother looking. Uh, how far away is he from me? Oh, he's gone. This has all just happened, and he's gone. He is gone, and you are left looking at this woman just going... He, he, uh, he stole the purse? What? I think he that... He stole what appears to be a bundle of clothes that are wrapped tightly in his arms. Marcelina is going to walk up to, to the woman and uh, hold on one second, Solomon, and she's going to sweetheart and lift her up and say, what uh, just happened? It's, I'm not going to do an impression of a hysterical woman because no. it's, you know, they're mm -hmm. the interests of good taste. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And she will explain that her child has literally just been taken from her arms and no one's doing anything mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay you stay right here darling and uh marceline is gonna fucking go after the guy elias would, see the, yeah yes would elias see this yeah you all heard yes uh, heard and looked instantly and uh, just, elias would go after the guy as <laughs> anyone else yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. I'll look after the grocery baskets. <laughs> Are you sure that's what you want to do? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. Everybody's running out. Just, yeah, no. Kenun's Ken Ken instinct is to just, like, stay with the lady right now and be like, hey, hey, don't worry about it. My companions, my companion. Never fear, ma'am. 
My companions will see this through. <laughs> Taken. Speaking, yeah, Kadun speaking Japanese to this woman, and uh, Solomon's just standing there holding everything, just nodding, like, yep, whatever they're saying, yep. Solomon, let's go, now! <laughs> sorry, sorry, carefully places the baskets on the ground. Uh, I guess, yeah, we're, we're going for this one, I guess. We are most certainly going after this one. Hey, hey, hey. I don't speak any Japanese. What the fuck happened? Oh, uh, I speak Japanese. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, and I'm Japanese. Um, <laughs> did I hear what the lady was saying? Oh, I mean, even if you didn't hear her talking directly to Marcin, she is in a, oh, not yeah, a very happy state right now, and she is not making is. any secret of what happened. Yeah, right. I'm sure she's also, screaming. um, my roommates screamed right as you were explaining it. Did I hear the word child in that sentence? Yes. Okay, man yes. stole a child. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> yes. I missed that so part. To, so mm -hmm. to the boys, apparently someone just kidnapped her child. Um, Mar You guys would see, actually, as Marcelina is essentially running out of the store, you would see on her face that there is this, like, uh, blazing look of rage on her face. Um... Yeah, this, awesome. is, this is conviction issues right now, so. Uh, same. Also, Marcelina is almost certainly about to kill a man. <laughs> yes. Once outside, do we get, we got eyes on someone running away, or? Yes, once I get outside, I'm immediately fucking bink, well, who what do I see? I like streets of Tokyo are never entirely deserted, but here, tonight, there appears to be a man standing on the pavement shouting about the end of times, how the cycle will end in fire. Doomsayers and the like on street corners have never been a huge deal in Japan, so one so prominent and tolerated is a strange sight indeed. That is the only thing you see that is out of place in the street. Is this the dude that took the club? Oh, that took the kid? Nope. No, oh, is this another dude? I don't see any like break in the crowd. I'm gonna, I'll use heightened senses and I'll use sight and like you be able to see someone running through a crowd, right? So as I'm looking out, can I see? You know. No. That's fucking weird. Okay. Um. The desire to punch this person in the face is strong in Marcelina. Okay. Um. Slip. You. <clears throat> Can you hack into cameras? Well, uh, I could try that. I'm also, I'm no daisy, but if there are birds about, I can, uh... That would be extremely helpful. I can try. I will need a semi-secluded location to talk to birds openly after calling them. Cool. She drags him to the car, opens the door, shoves Whoa. him in. <laughs> Shuts the door. <laughs> Roll my window down and just try to summon some birds. Did Roll for me, please. Yeah, all right. I want to rouse real quick for this. Bam. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Did Roll and then out of hunger. Now, it was, the, it was the man that we were chasing or just some random man that's out here it's Yelling doomsay. Uh, some random doomsay, and literally the first one you have ever seen in Japan. Uh, I'll re roll some of that. Okay. Mm. Sato knows that this just isn't something yeah, he's done in this Japan. This is not normal. So, this man was screaming about like the cycle or some shit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sato is going to go up to him whenever the birds are dealt with. Uh, Sato. Uh, three. You, you can get fairly sickly crow. Flies down. Yeah. All right, what do you want? I'm going to reach into... 500 knee trembler. I'm, I'm going to reach into, like, the center console and pull out, like, one of the snack bags we have for, like, Daisy's crows. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Pop it open. Hey, so, um, did you see, like, a guy run out of that store with a baby? 
Yeah. Cool. I give him. A, I'll give him a, uh, a, a cheese poof. So, uh, <laughs> could you take me to him? Nope. Could you let me know what direction he went in? That way. I got a direction. Amazing, wonderful, Sato, darling. Do you mind huh? taking a, a, a walk over to that fellow over there? Shouting I about was... things that he probably shouldn't be shouting about. <clears throat> oh, I was already going. That's yeah. not normal. I'm accompanying so... Sato. It's like Tenun uh, just sort of wanders off to see what his companions are doing because he can't leave them unsupervised for long. Just <laughs> start eating each other. Slip what direction? Uh, that away. Elias would start running that way. Oh my god, we're in the car. <laughs> oh. Get in the car. Oh, my car. I, I, I will <laughs> stay in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're at the car. <laughs> we're in. In. Uh, uh, Mark, say, the, the direction the crow, is, the crow, the sickly crow is indicating, <clears throat> is a little bit in front of you, and to a crossroad, a T-junction type thing. Okay, Can I try man. to um promise the bird a, a more snacks if it like takes to the sky and kind of like aerial scouts and like looks for the same colors and uh, individual, and, and and the bird will very quickly relate to you. I ain't going there. No one goes there. Don't go there. I'm not going there. No. Oh, mm. why? Mm. Because, well, bad shit happened, and I'm a pro. Okay, well, can you come as far as you're willing to go, and then fly away after giving us directions once we get there? I'm a crow, not an Uber. Uh, Ooh, hey, for Marcelina. two snack packs, yes, you are. Marcelina just puts her head on the steering wheel and cries, and he, not really cries, but like fake tears, and it's like, I miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Daisy so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, with Sato and anyone accompanying him as you approach this this man, he. This is the weird thing. As you approach him, you you expect someone who is uh, destitute, who is wearing scraps of clothes. But this man just, he he seems like a salary man, which is really weird. Why is a salary man just standing on a street corner talking about World's End? Damn, I knew they would lose it every now and again, but I figured they'd go quietly, not wildly. And normally they just go out the window, not out on the. I guess they end. I guess they end up on the street eventually. <clears throat> anyway, ah, uh, I guess uh, if he doesn't see me walking up, the minute I get near him, I'm gonna like, you know, hey, what are you screaming you... about? Pardon? I just going, what are you screaming about? The end of the world as we know it. As you know it, as I know it, as we all know it. I mean, I, I am feel the fine. follower of truth. Do you want to be a follower of truth? Yes, <sighs> rather. Kind of. Please, I was once us. like you. I was once blind. But since that big earthquake earlier in the year, I began to see the world differently. Almost everyone in our apartment block felt the same. And so we formed the followers of truth to tell people the truth, to save them and their soul. People didn't have to join. They were free to leave, but they never come back. This is sounding disturbingly familiar and now I'm uncomfortable. You think it's uncomfortable now? Do you think it will be when this whole thing comes to an end? Okay, you're saying whole thing. Do you mean the world? Do you mean country? Fucking way of life? Answer me, man. Please enlighten us about this truth you've seen. A huge nothing is coming. 
and consume us all. Yes. And that will be the end. Previously, everything was a cycle, wasn't it? Huh? Did we not come back? But that will all end. And everything will die. I see. So don't bother to return in that library book. Take more out. Do anything you want to do. Uh, now is the time. Yeah. Or could join us. We're not a mm -hmm. cult. We're a community of like-minded I... individuals. You've and who, pray tell, are you that we would be joining? The followers of truth. Yes, but who are you? What is it you do? We follow the truth. The clues in the net. And where does it lead? To the truth. Yes. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I see, I <clears throat> see. Are you sure and that we is can all. handle this? What is this concept see, of truth you you're chasing? See. You think you see, you don't see. The only way to see <laughs> is to see what we have seen. I think, friend, perhaps I see more than you know I see. And I'd like to activate cheese sight. <laughs> okay. I um, I don't have to activate it, but I guess there wasn't anything with uh, see the, sense the unseen. Nothing with <clears throat> sense the unseen, but I think cheese sight. I'm going to give to you for free, actually. And you'll see, this man has he 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 obviously has his own chi, his own life energy that's fairly normal, but you'll start to see that there's an extra layer to him, as if he has been given an extra coating, for lack of a better word. There is this extra layer of chi that is There's a, a film remnant. on his aura. Yes, exactly. But this is pure. There's very little of it, but it is so pure that even over his own chi and the city's chi and everything around you, you can still see this remnant of pure chi. So it, it's lighting him up almost like true faith would for. Um, no, no, I'm not saying the, the, it's true faith. It, it's like, not quite. As, I mean, true faith is this huge thing that's going to be there. This this is literally like just a remnant of something gotcha. that's been left. Gotcha. Like a sleek of oil over um over the sea and it's just it's just pure legit just just chi mm. I and mean, this is like th this is the good stuff cool 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 and he just sort of bows slightly just just slightly in acknowledgement and just like i recognize your truth friend please tell me more if you wish to know more you should take the first step and meet with the rest of the follow. You should meet with our leader, Kurasu. He insists on meeting all new. I would certainly like to learn more. Are we doing Perhaps this? My eyes may yet be open further. Oh, we're doing Please. this. Our, and he, he, he'll explain it. The apartment block that you can go to is down the road um, and those of you in the car will see the man talking to Solomon and Sato and Kenan and he is pointing in a direct same direction that the crow pointed earlier as well I think if that's the case then Marcelino will have kicked the car on and pulled up to where they're standing oh, this is you know this is really close you know it's like oh, okay, it's, yeah, more right. it's going to cost you more in petrol to start the car move okay. it, go around the corner and, and just the, i didn't quite catch know. it what was what was the leader guy's name again uh Karasu. thank you Tara. okay is it a t no k-a-r-a-s-u oh okay um okay well if that's the case then i won't turn the car on um i'll i'll just say you know, I think we're all going to be heading in the same direction. Uh, let's go. And she'll get out of the car to walk up to the group. You! Are you joining the followers of truth as well? 
uh, she'll take a look at her the the the, the three that were here, uh, sort of like with the eyebrow up, like, am I? <laughs> to, you know, are are we doing this type of? I suppose thing? we shall have to see. We're a close knit family unit. You're free to leave at any time you so wish. We're not a cult. Mm. Oh, is there an exit interview? Uh, yeah, how did you know? Holy There's a shit. Lies there? Yeah, God, I hope so. so. Yeah. Um. Yes, this uh, this followers of truth sounds quite uh, quite enlightening. I always am seeking truth. I would love to join. I guess we're all going to see about this truth. What she says, truth. So please. What she says, very souls. Looks at at Elias like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is. Actually, this might be interesting. Of the strange doomsayer, and make their way through the extra wide pavements towards the nearby apartment building. And as you walk there, making your way through already quite sparse crowds that become even fewer and fewer as you approach this apartment building, is there anything? Talk about on route. Is Apparently. oh, go ahead, Slip. Is this where we think the baby is? Mm, you tell me. You were the one speaking to the grow. Is this the gen- just direction? Like this is yep. the general. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I, uh, yeah, I guess so. Very mm. curious. Crow. The huh? man on the street was touched by something greater. Oh. Oh, like actually? Yes. So it touched on something so great that it stole a child? It would seem. I, I guess so. He was talking a... about. I was going to say, he was talking about some sort of truth. Yes. Maybe the, maybe the freak who took the kid is another one of the little truth boys. Hmm. Yes, I do not know this truth of which he speaks. However, there was a grain, a shred of truth in what he said, regarding the cycle, at least. Where they intend to take the shred, I do not know. But it is certainly worth investigating. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Right. <clears throat> Marcelina, uh, it, it's like a subtle movement, but she it's sort of like her adjusting her gun so that they are... Quite easier and quicker for her to Well, uh, if the kid has been harmed, I'm gonna do really bad things with a bunch oh. of giant hornets. I will uh, burn the yeah. building down if I have to. Yes. We're gonna get that child back and bring it to its mother. And then we're going to decimate everyone in that building. Okay. Perfect. I suppose. Fair. See. Please, no decimation before we've found the answers to our questions. Yeah. Kind of looking at Marcelina. Oh, Marcelina keeps walking. <laughs> Marcelina just keeps walking. Um, I am sure we can seek the truth. Peace. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. Someone stole a child. There will be no peace. Well, I think certainly the individual who stole the child uh, needs to be um, apprehended, and I would certainly want to secure the child immediately and return it to its mother. That is my focus. I should phrase my request this way. Please no decimation before we have found the answers to our questions so that we may ensure such things do not happen again and no more children are stolen for similar ends. Don't kill anyone until we figured out why they kidnapped the kid. Got it. Yes. And do no, not don't kill anyone. Or at least do not kill those with answers. There you go. You can do that. Because I promise you right now, Marcelina, no offense, but I know for a fact there's no way someone's not about to die the minute we go in there. Oh, they're going to I die. I know you're going to shoot someone in the face. 
well, I mean, to Marcelino's credit, it is good motivation to tell the truth. And kind of glances at Marcelino and is like, True. think of it this way, perhaps, if it, if it pleases you. If we ask our questions first, you'll be able to take them by surprise, and then wouldn't the look on their faces be absolutely delightful? Are you flirting with me, Ken? I think mm -hmm. he's just saying that if we uh, kill them slowly in a drawn-out uh, manner, we can ask them questions during. My name it's... is Kenoon, thank you. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> she just keeps going. <laughs> there, is, there is actual, like, a level of shook on Sopto's <laughs> face. He's not fucking ready for what's just occurred. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I will say though like as she's saying those things there is a sense of like mimicry like she's heard people say these things but murder is in her eyes you know what I'm saying so she's like saying these things that seem lighthearted and flirtatious but she isn't. she's practicing she's not... yes <laughs> if you have murder in your eyes does that mean you have crow's feet yes I do because okay. I smile a lot <laughs> The Coven finally arrive on the street opposite the apartment building. Barely squat building, three floors at most, and could probably only house about a hundred people. It joins on with its neighbours directly, eliminating the chances of a back or side way in. The main entrance rests at the top of a short stone staircase, and various lights are on and off, and the street itself seems like any other. Kenon, though, seems to be more alive than before. A brighter aura, more colour to his skin. And Kenon, you feel chair charged. Your senses already tingling. You can hear the residents inside of their buildings going on with their normal mundane lives. You feel the beating heart of the country itself within your own chest. You may slake one hunger, and if appropriate, go down to zero. <coughs> What would you all like to do? Um, would we be able to sort of... Uh, those are changes that we can see in Kanoon, right? Yeah, like, Kanoon oh. suddenly just... He seems more human, more alive. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, because I, I, my brain finally worked, kind of searching my... Like, the guy said something about an earthquake. Now, obviously, earthquakes are not uncommon, but, like... You know, searching my memory, can I think of, like, maybe which one he's talking about? Like, a very significant one? If me, intelligence or wits, I think insight would be a good mix for that one. Or streetwise. Um, ooh, streetwise. Yeah, oh, streetwise, I think, can apply. Is there any chance I could assist with this role also being, like, local... I'll tell you what, everyone, intelligence, or wits, and insight, or street eyes. I like when the storyteller lets us all roll. Jesus! Oh. Why can't I do that on something, like, more? Oh, there, come, come on, <laughs> she, please, have, work with me here! Why can't I roll like frozen? that in real life for remembering? Come here, Sheet. Come on, you can do it! Remember, just remember, refresh, it's fine. I, I oh. refreshed it, it was just frozen there for a sec. <laughs> oh, okay. That is the best roll I've ever gotten in my Okay. Sheet, come on, please, now. Anyone want oh, any kind of roll? Let me just actually roll, please. <laughs> um, I could do a re-roll, but, okay. uh, Sato crushed it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> 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 the locals. So yeah, I thought no, still I... got, did better though. Yeah, hey, I think they both quit. Let... Yeah, let the both the both the local boys handle it. Okay. Slip. You desperately reaching into your memory, trying to see if you can recall anything. Unfortunately, though, for you, you aren't able to sp remember any specific earthquake that comes to mind. And this frustrates you. And the beast 
screams forth inside of your skull. Slip. Cannot use teamwork. No. No, actually. I don't think I've given Slip cryptophilia before. So, Slip. The need to know permeates you. You become consumed with a hunger for secrets. To know that which few or no one knows. Almost as strong as your desire for blood. You also refuse to share secrets, except in exchange strictly for, tri for other secrets of equal or greater value. All actions not spent working toward learning a secret, no matter how big or small, receive a two-dice penalty. This compulsion ends when Slip learns a secret big enough to be considered useful. Sharing the secret is up as you are suffering from cryptophilia. All right. Kenon and Satosan and Solomon and Marcelina. Earthquake round. I think it was March or May that you were involved in when you were inside of the SI, SI headquarters. That was the biggest earthquake of the year so far. It's a good bet that that is the one that he is talking about. Uh, Kenon and Sato-san, you both instantly know that is the earthquake, definitively. Was there anything, I mean, obviously it was the biggest earthquake of the year, but like anything particularly weird on, say, like the magic side of things? Was, was Sato and Kenon there? When we no. Were... Okay. No, but we obviously lived. They were not in. there, okay. but they would have known about it because it was put on TV. Because a military installation was destroyed, and that was what was reported in the news. Yep. The thing that found strange for you was it was almost localized. This earthquake. It was extremely strong, and didn't seem to spread very far. Very strange Qu behavior. Question, St. About that moment, because uh, if I remember correctly, I had heard a voice. You did. And that voice said they would help me. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Okay, so as I recall this moment, <laughs> um, is there any familiarity with that voice that I that I'd be able to pull from? Wits or intelligence and the cult. And I know you've got nothing in a cult, so I'll let you have insight as well. I don't have nothing either, so uh, I'll just roll for, I guess, wits, right? Wits, wits or cult. intelligence, whichever you prefer. We'll just go with whatever. It's not much, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not okay. The, this voice was different from any other voice you heard, but so, there was this feeling of familiarity to it, just by place, okay. constantly on the edge of remembering, but you just can't quite remember. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mood. <laughs> I think uh, Marceline will keep that bit of information to herself. Just wait to see what the others say. What would you all like to do? And I was literally just vibing. More vibrant uh, than ever. I, I think Marcelino like takes note of that, but doesn't say anything, um, and is going to head into into the building because we're at the building, right, at the apartment. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. She's going to head in. Mm-hmm. Is my Everyone just like in? still activated, or do I gotta redo? Uh, you have to redo this. Okie doke, because I am doing that. Okay, roll chi suck for me, please. Yep, yep. Is that rouse for chi for you? I believe that's what we said, yes. Very nice.
Because yeah, I want to activate cheese sight, do a vibe check. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a roll for cheese sight? I don't believe so. I think we just said it was a rouse check. I can um, pull up the thingamajig. Then in that case, I would like you to do wits and awareness. Okie doke. I'll. Gosh, why did I just close my sheet? Um, St. I don't think a, a rouse check is necessary for Oblivion Sight, but I'd like to activate Oblivion Sight. Absolutely. Yeah. Just in case. Thank you, Pixie. Uh, get on, sticking with it. No. I wanna, I wanna re-roll some stuff. Okay. Ah, uh, buttons, 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 so many buttons. Button, button, where's the button? Three, you will see that there is there is chi here somewhere in this building. There is some source of chi that you can't quite get a focus on. You quite can't get quite a fix on. You need to be closer to see what's going on with this. <laughs> strange rush of energy. I, I... Everyone heading inside with Marcelina? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yep. The door is opened easily into the brightly lit corridor. Fluorescent tubes are strategically placed to provide just a light in the right places to show the way forward. A small desk is placed off to the side with a middle aged and sat there patient. He stands and gives a swift, shallow bow, and with a smile says, Tombawa, are you new prospects here to repent before it is too late? You must see the chief. He greets all new prospects personally. Please, please, head up. The man settles back into a bow, looking at the floor, as the door behind you all opens with a ring, revealing an elevator. I think that uh, ooh, Marcelina is so tempted to shoot this man in the face. Um, she is going to walk into the elevator. Um, is that a lady? Bug. What is that? Uh, that's a ladybug. Oh, cute. It just landed on my hand. Ladybugs are good luck. Anyway, so we, I get the, 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 the elevator. <laughs> oh, hang in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The elevator doors slide shut with ease, trapping the kindred in the relatively confined air as it jumps into life and takes a up to the third floor. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? There's Blip something takes... here. Hey, Mom! Oh my what? god, that's what it is! <laughs> Do you have any idea what it could be? Not yet, but there's something here. Alright. Question, ST. Um, the first time that we came to Japan, I saw over the city this, like, darkness. With my oblivion side up now, do I see that same darkness in this you building? You can see the same darkness over you, almost like um, a glass dome from a Richard Prince novel. Mm. Okay. Rat. Stephanie Queen. Okay. Um. I think Marcelina is gonna look at Kanoon and say, "Is there anything in your ideals that uh, require a child?" Not that I know of. Not off the top of my head. There may be, but not that I know of. I 
and you said that there is some truth to what that person was saying? Yes. Yes, there was. Yes, there is. A while ago, when that earthquake hit, I heard a voice. A voice that sounded familiar, but I, I can't quite... <laughs> I can't quite tell you who it was, saying they were going to help me, and they did, soon after an earthquake hit. Do you might know anything about that? I can only guess. Marcelina pulls out her gun and checks it, makes sure the safety's off. Uh, and just kind of rests it in front of her. The lift comes to a sudden halt as the doors open, and the stench of rotten flesh and decay impacts the creatures instantly. The entirety of the third floor is revealed to them. However, a large open room has been clearly converted from having once contained many different apartment rooms. Now all but load-bearing walls have been knocked down creating a strange open area with almost random walls in place. Hung in various portrait frames what appears to be human skin, taut from end to end. Beneath each macabre display, a human hand has been nailed under each one, all of various sizes and origins. At the furthest end of the room is a figure sat upon a grotesque throne of wet bone, dripping flesh piled upon itself. Lining the wall, Lining the way of various people, some watching the newly arrived coven of apex predators in their mist, unaware of the danger they are in. Others are asleep or in quiet reflection. Kotri with little option make their way forward, towards the figure, as they approach several of the surrounding figures around them. As they approach several of the figures around them, surround them. And from behind the twisted throne appears two large Akita Inus, blood clearly visible on their moors. Dark figure hisses out from under his hood. Are you here because you have seen the light? Close enough to get a more accurate <clears throat> vibe check. Yep. So I'd like to get a more accurate vibe check. Oh, God, I want to get a vibe uh, check. Definitely have to roll again for that one. Uh, Sense the Unseen. Oh, no. Better yet, can I get an occult roll to see if I can recognize anything here as being magic? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Me too, please. There's there's bodies everywhere. This could be blood. You can roll on that, but that's going to be a very difficult... And that's... what would you like me to roll? I would like you, Kenan, to roll... Wits and awareness, please. Okay, do. And those of you who wish to roll a cult, intelligence and a cult. Is there any yes, specialty cult. that I might be able to use here? Nope. No. Thank you, Sato, for the reminders. Of when a cult thing should be called. <laughs> right. That's not bad. Okay. I'm. None of, none of you got a fuck clue. I was well, gonna say. Then, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna try to will, uh, willpower those those two. And if you want, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, is it just not even a shot? It's probably like difficulty really? six. It's difficulty eight. Damn. Oh, then I would actually have to get to. Okay, you know what? All right, thanks. I won't do it then. If it's if it's uh, that rare of a shot. Kenon, your vision slowly adjusts with the will of your supernatural powers. Before you slowly melting into your vision, you start to see waves of energy dancing excitedly around you. It flows almost like a stream, flowing upwards from beneath the floor and engulfing the entire area. You recognize, Kenon, an abundance of chi. It would appear the building intersects with the ley line. And this is spilling out into uh, is spilling out its contents straight into the building. 
Cool, cool. So, have you come this far to just stand in front of me and think, or are you here? We are seekers of the truth. One. As Kenan is saying that, I'm looking. I'm. Yeah, I'm looking through the crowd. Do I see the guy who took the child? You do not. Okay. Mm, mm, okay. Okay. You see is it the yes, 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 Mr. Slick. I was going to say, uh, how relatively quiet is it in the room other than speaking? When you say quiet, in, in what sense of the word? I'm, do we hear a muffled baby in oh. like a distance or another room? You do not. You okay. do not. Sorry, as you were. No, 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 that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Ask away. Do any of the skins look tiny? Oh, that's I a mean, hard question. Patches <laughs> of skin. Well, how many have you got? Any dots? You've got dots in medicine, don't you, Solomon? I do. Yeah. Uh, I also have dots in medicine. That's what. I, that's that's who I meant. Um, I have dots in medicine. You you'll be able to. Then you will know with that knowledge in medicine that skin is a very pliant and rubbery. So can be stretched out to almost any length before it snaps. So it would be near impossible to tell what the original size of the skin was before it was mounted in frame. Oh, I, I could also tell if they're old or not. The skins that are stretched out, are they like tanned already or do some of them look maybe fresher? Some of them, you know, they're all various ages, you'll be able to say, you know, that's from an older person, that's from someone in their 20s, that is aged, should not be on this wall, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay. Uh, is there an age where you should be skinned and put on a wall? Marcelina you know, also has dots in medicine, so I think she'd probably notice that as well. You have um, yeah, dots? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Same as me. Medicine. No, just sort of saying that's why I would say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you said there's hands. There's hands mm -hmm. about as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hand nailed underneath each frame. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna I'm let Kenan do the talking for now. You seek the truth. Are you prepared to hear the truth? You don't look like you can handle the truth. I imagine. An eyebrow goes up. I have seen it, you know. The end of all things. Swallowings. Great nothing. Yes. Came to us all in a vision. There was that large earth flattened military base. Do you remember it? Yes. When that hit here, when we were all filled with pieces, the same vision, the end. We put all those pieces together ourselves, and we decided we must help people, so that they can prepare for what is to come, give them precious time, that is not for everyone. Not everyone has the fortitude to handle the coming end. So rather than have them suffer or live in ignorance, we bring them deliverance. It is a mercy. So you embrace this end? We have seen it. Witnessed it already is yet to pass and has already passed and will pass again. I see. I think you do. And what of those others? 
what is the name of this end? You do not name nothing. You do not name the end. It is simply the end. That's a name in an in of itself. It is a name and a description. Is it possible to survive this? It is entirely possible that what we will suffer is not exact death, just an end to existence. Like a blind person. Most people think blind person sees darkness. They simply have no vision. There is no darkness. It is just a sense that is absent. And when the end comes, we, all of this, will be absent. And yet perhaps the wheel may yet continue to turn. There will be no wheel. The wheel, as you call it, has broken. The cycle is coming to an end, if there ever was a cycle. We are preparing everyone to meet their doom. The... what's the... what's the point? It is a mercy. We don't want to... scare everyone. But those that are nearby, those that we can, we will reach out to. We will offer them mercy. You can do anything so we yeah. cares. Yes. Just sort of gestures at one of the skins. This is mercy? Yes. Living in ignorance, and then suddenly nothing. All your hopes and dreams dashed. Who needs Normally, I'm the kind of person that scoffs in the face of ignorance. I don't like not. But that's the weird thing about human race. We're terrified of the unknown. And there's nothing we don't understand more than nothing itself. Or that we have lack of understanding for the nothing itself. There's no practical way of understanding nothing. So by informing these people, you're just feeding them a fear they're never going to avoid. The train was hurtling towards you and you were stuck on the track. Would you like to be in four? The train hurtling towards you, or simply wait for it to turn you into a billion pieces of flesh on the ground. Well, if there's no way of stopping the train at all, then I would not like to know it was there. You prefer to live in ignorance. Well, the lack of ability to stop the inevitable is a fear that I think no one should. And if you were given the chance to wrap up all of your affairs, say goodbye to loved one, make sure every loose end in your life is tied, throw that away, and allow yourself to be hit by the 915 from Tokyo simply because you accept your fate, and death is inevitable. Why did you even bother being born? That's my problem. Oops, like this. Is you always think solve the things that most people probably aren't going to solve. No, we aren't going to solve anything. The yes, end is you're inevitable. Ne you're never going to... The end has always been inevitable. The end is and always... And yet the purpose of life is to live. And would you deprive others of that? You'll never yes. ever... I yes. don't think a single person would ever be able to fully... 
come to terms with all of their affairs before their life ends. You spend every last waking moment of your life in fear that you won't be able to do it. Yet, you probably still won't. All of these people here came to us with regret. Regret for things they have not done, for things they have done. And some of those things they wanted to tie up before they leave. We gave them that chance. Like kidnapping a child? Was that someone's we do desire? Not children, or anyone for that matter. We liberate them. We give them a choice. I see. Join us to be saved. Or we end their suffering now. Saved. In that way, considering what is to come. A wonderful choice, that. Between the rock and the hard place. Mm. Sa- saved how? By being removed from this plane by us before the view being completely mild, removed. I believe. I'm sorry, sir. What did you say? Your view of the truth is myopic. Yes, you cannot solve the unknown train scenario by running someone over with a different train. <laughs> Very well put. Good one. We see these as acts of mercy. Who um, knows what will happen to whom you are merciful see otherwise. But who knows what will happen to any of us if we are brought into this nothing. If we end their life, at least there is a chance they can go to an afterlife before it is too late. So we all intend to kill ourselves before it is too late. We've even brought some special juice aid for the past. Yeah, kind of just kind of glanced at Marcelina and just sort of like you, shrugs, nods. It's like, yeah, you, no, he's heard what he's wanted to hear. You Do all you, are the dumbest people I have ever met. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the most self-fulfilling prophecy I have ever heard. Yeah. Did whoa, whoa, any whoa. of you even Thank think you. that you were the ones causing it? I... I Never certainly... crossed your mind, did it? No, of course not. Of course, they're myopic, what did I say? <laughs> they yes, the nothing into which yes. they have seen is all that there is, is to one see. one with the incredible nails in the air. I... Marcelina is going to activate Aura of Decay. Yes! Oh! <laughs> I think I'm going to let you just do that for a rouse check. Okay, thank you so much. Um, while that's happening, <laughs> how many people were in this room? 15, 20. Okay. Oh, soon to be zero. Quick question. Yeah. Um, what? Vibe check. What's the... What's... When the Aura of Decay activates, what effect does that have on the local chi? It's gotta be negative. It's gotta be dead chi. Normally... It would be... I mean, it, it's not gonna be a negative chi because... Death is part of yeah. So, so just just no, just yin, an abundance yeah. of yin chi being okay. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. It, it's not making sure. D- despite the extremely dramatic, visible effects mm. of this, simply causing yin chi to coalesce in the area. I got you. Yeah, I got you. It, it's not an innately leechy thing. It's oh. not going to be wrecking balance or anything like that. But it, it certainly draws on the element of death. And um, giving you the finger guns. Um, Marcelina, your eyes. Yeah. Your eyes. Mm. Blacken. Oh my. And outside of them, it begins to flow around your skin. Like sand being blown in the desert. And then slowly drops to the floor. And swiftly spreads out. Making everything within the area begin to rot. Okay. Um, two things as that's happening. The first, Marcelina will say to Slip, go find the child and get them out. Uh, and then the second thing is, Marcelina will just be like walking forward as this stuff is leaking from her towards the, the guy who was speaking. Yep. Uh, Last. Before combat breaks out, yeah. Um, it's not going to be any. Okay. 
Oh, uh, well, I, <laughs> I wanted to uh, say, um, while I uh, certainly appreciate uh, the pursuit <coughs> of knowledge uh, and the, the seeking of knowledge and discovery, I found that even when one wholly prepares themselves for death, it isn't always enough. Sometimes you, when that path ends, you find yourself unfulfilled and ready to journey on another path. The decayed corpse is unable to reply to you. As during your speech, she's staring at you and not even realizing that he is slowly being rotted. Turns to dust. As do all the other fellows on this floor. Oh. And even the house itself begins to look more dilapidated. As Marcelina has killed every single person on this floor. Well, that works faster than I thought. Slip has uh, gone out into the hallway the moment Marcelina made her request, uh, no, and no, is uh, it's wet. It's gone back to the elevator then, or just left open floor. Oh, yeah, they bashed Ooh, in all the other walls. Yeah. It's just the support beams left. Jesus, uh, is there is other floors? There is a cellar left that you haven't explored. He's gonna go. He's going to release the swarm to try to help look for a child, fresh, dead, or otherwise. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's always the best way to rescue a child, to send a swarm of murder hornets the size of my face. Yeah, Bidar. Yeah. It's a football-sized child. It doesn't know the difference. It's... <laughs> Uh, these are good at report. <laughs> they, they they got their little dances to report back on what they found. Yeah, and they're gonna cover potentially a lot more ground than me ferreting around like a little mongoose. And you know they they will come back to you and they say they they will be able to some shape or form that sort of child. Shit. I think once uh, Marcelina has sort of decayed everything in the room, she uh, she looks disgusted, uh, but will then turn off the aura of decay and simply walk out. Canon. Um, Canon, what's the way? Sorry. Solomon. Okie doke. Where did my sheet go? Um, while well, Canon's doing that. Um, the the guy that we were discussing his stupid philosophies with, um, I would like to go over to his ash dissolved, pile. Yeah, his ash pile, and um, I assume there's bones left. I'd like to have his skull, please. No problem. No problem. And it'd be completely devoid of flesh, no yeah. endings anything yep neatly cleaned it's, it's, yeah it's obviously not been bleached but yeah. uh, i could still, do that. still slightly warm cool <laughs> that's the way he likes it Chenon, and you will reveal and you will look around this room and you'll come to the realization the source of this chi and whatever else it is that just cause this must be coming from the cellar. Yeah, he just immediately is, uh, let's go poke the cellar. <laughs> He's gotta know. Anyone wanna go poke the cellar with Kenon? Yep. A fucking yeah. course. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, Slip's gonna rub uh, his crusty little fingertips on every nook and cranny down there till he finds a trap door or something. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And you will make your way into the elevator, hitting the lowest button on the panel, and letting the lift slowly drop down beyond the ground level. 
you know, Marcelina. After this conversation. I'm sorry, it was just the one thing. No, 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 don't be sorry. Go for it. <laughs> Marcelina, I'm very glad that that little decay thing didn't reach the elevator because I'm pretty sure those cables can decay. Really glad this thing isn't about to drop. God, don't let this drop. Same just, just holding a skull like Hamlet um, is just staring into its empty eye sockets. We'd be fine, Sato. If you start quoting poetry, I'm not going to talk to you ever again. If we were too close to the elevator, we'll never know. So to fall or not to fall, that is the I... question. You see, I thought you were going to take it a different direction. Well, I guess, you know, I, I guess we won't be talking to each other. Alas, <laughs> poor Sato. Oh, I that would have been good, too. Oh. Uh. Um, I, Marcelina will, I think, just smile. But it's, you know, in that way that she does. <laughs> You know, in that in that psycho way that she does, <clears throat> but she says so nothing. It's a lantre smile, but in a far more distressing way. <laughs> yeah. His was a pretty stressful smile. So, Marcelina. Yes. You take three humanity stains. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're melting everyone on that floor, and that is where we will call an end to this week's Nihon by Night. <laughs> thank you all for coming and watching thank you for coming and playing um all of our players have made use of the v5 unofficial players guide from our buddy bully over on table goth mm -hmm. you can get that in the link in the chat there it's good price it's worth it, and, you know, give you a good bit of inspiration as Springboard to start off from. That said, uh, Elias, I, what do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. I am Naskariad. I play Elias, and I play on uh, Table of Horrors every Friday. Marcelina, who are you? What do you do? Do you, like, do things? Find out. Hello, hello. Uh, yes, I do things. I do this. I do TTRPGs. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Chastity. You can find me all over the internet as the Risa Rave. Uh, I obviously do things here on Table of Horrors, but I also do things on Table Goth uh, and on Lani Up Gaming, which is coming out with content very, very soon. So keep your eyes open uh, for updates on all the things. Uh, follow the Twitter because that's where I'm basically most active. Sato, what are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hello, I am Softy or Softonomicon on every social media. I join my lovely hedgehog husband and my other friends here on Fridays to do uh, this fucking great game. And uh, I also obviously stream Twitch. I am a gamer and an artist. And tomorrow I am doing an extremely long stream as I co-stream all of TennoCon and get real excited about Warframe. <laughs> I, I found out the other day uh, where they get word Tenno from. Where is it? Where is it from? Uh, Tenno Hekai. Tenno Hekai. Tenno Hekai. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I'm saying it right. It's the Japanese word for emperor. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. And the emperor's wife, the empress, is Kogosama. Oh. Cool. Mm -hmm. Solomon! Who are you? What do you do? Do you do things apart from helping us stream this game because I can't when I'm in the UK? <laughs> Let's find out. Um, yeah, you can find me practically everywhere you can find, uh, at Nitro Type At. Um, uh, I don't do a lot 
but I have been working on some stuff with some of the very wonderful people here that um, is snowballing into beginning a lot faster than I expected, and that's both very exciting and also very terrifying, and I'm super excited. Um, uh, I've, I've, I got drawings earlier that I didn't know exist. Can't stop staring at them. They're beautiful. Uh, and you'll hear about that soon. Uh, so. Slip. Who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? What pajamas are you wearing tonight? <laughs> I have a Dragon Ball Z shirt on and Super Mario World pajamas. Excellent. Uh, I'm Vamp Daddy. I uh, I variety stream here on Twitch. I'm on Twitter at Vampire Father, uh, and I'm here for Fridays and uh, maybe more often coming up soon. Yeah, we're we're really making you lot work hard, actually. So. <laughs> ha ha! You're just such great people. I like it all the time. Dare you present me with exactly the truth? <laughs> How dare you present us with opportunities and fun? <laughs> Get on! You are close to affiliate on Twitch. Tell us how can we help you? Where can we find you? And what you do? And most importantly of all, let's help get you affiliate. Yeah, I'm Daybreakathon. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere, especially over at Twitch, where I stream as Daybreakathon. Recently been working my way through Skyward Sword. Been a good time. Please come watch me. I am, like, so close to affiliate. So dang close. I also draw pictures sometimes. I did the art for Kenun Slip and Sato over there. Um, my commissions are open. Good times. Good stuff. Good stuff coming. Excellent. Is that the thing that's everyone? Um, check out um, our links down below for our Discord, our Twitter, our YouTube, so you can see older episodes. Uh, we have a play by post that we're just starting to try and get rolling again, uh, which you have to join the Discord for. Uh, there's there's going to be some more activities coming on that I think a couple of games are going to be Discord exclusives at some point. I know I want to do a couple of practice games that I might just do in the Discord exclusively. Just, yeah. Uh, that said, uh, next week we'll be back with another episode of Nihon Nights. I don't think we've got anything else coming up before then, have we? No. I've got to work on my backlog quite a lot but it's getting there there's oh so much to come too much to come it's killing me but it'll be great it'll be absolutely great i i currently got four new ttrpg books just from being in the uk can't help myself but it's going to be a good time and uh we might see an old character make a reappearance at some point soon. Oh god, don't start teasing that too. It'll give me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> we will go raiding on D&D &D Roll Call, who are playing... Oh, it must be some small independent game, I've never heard of it. Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, is that that cult game? Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Killed lots of people that game. Mm-hmm. But of course, we can't go legally until Slip, I think, says the line. Selena, you're so strangely calm after last night. That's crazy. I'm so happy. 